building. Which was the last building? You Probably recognize those buildings. Okay? They have tall doors. Tall doors because the Tartarian or whatever you call them, okay? They were giants. Sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? Yeah, the, the Tartarian, apparently, they, they were giant, like, <laughs> nine feet tall giant. You are aware of that? A disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Hey, I'm FTFE. Welcome back to the channel that does to stupidity what Galactus does to planets. Don't, it's not his fault. He's hungry, guys. Don't be mean to him. Big old space baby. Um, welcome back once again. Um, this is my third stream in a row uh, with, with Ross Perry without any sleep in between. Some may say I'm, I'm crazy. Some may say I'm punishing myself. I agree with all of those people. Ross, hello. Welcome back. How are you doing? Can you, I'm doing good, sir. Can you hear me okay? I can. I thank you very much for joining me once again. I didn't realize till just now that we really have the three streams in a row, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And three streams yeah, with, I, I, with I, zero I, sleep. I, 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 <laughs> I feel, I feel like maybe we were meant to do this forever, man. Yeah, I don't know. I like we, let's start our channel now. together, Ross. You know, me and you, just that, that seems to be the, be the best All way forward at this point, right? <laughs> hey, hey man, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if your ego can handle that. You know me, man. I can take it. I can take it like the best. I can take it, but I can dish it with the best of them, you know? Yeah, well, I, I hope that's speaking the case. Of, speaking of, speaking of what, was, it, was that an actual ass bet that you made last night? Or if I can prove those things that you bet me on, are you actually... I can't even remember what the bet was, but um, yeah, I, I was serious. But I think the bet was about there's no experiments to show Earth's movement, right? Uh, oh, oh, I mean, I hope that was the one you bet on. I don't, I wouldn't, I'm like, wow, that would be crazy. I thought it was that the pictures are fake and that... Oh, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if you could prove that every picture on Google was, was fake or CGI, then I would give you £10,000. Yeah, yeah. That those pictures that you put up in that thing, that those are fake. I have to prove those are fake for fifty grand, and then you say that you can basically verify that they that they have verified for sure that there's a real moon rock. You said you were gonna do that, and then you said a hundred grand. I have to watch it back to make sure. You know what I mean, what the exact work. I'm pretty sure it was those. Yeah, well, we can we can sort out some kind of bet. Def definitely, um, because I have got facts on my side uh right before we get started ross right there's one very important thing you need to understand right um and that's the the way you act on my show controls how the show goes right yes i am known for being shouty and interrupty but there's a catch to that i only do it in response to it being done to me i mirror the attitude and examples of the person that i am speaking to so that means that if someone 
waits their turn to talk, uh, interjects politely, has a respectful conversation, and then, then they get Craig, right? But if they interrupt me, if they are insulty, if they're, you know, difficult to talk to, they get FTFE. So you need to be aware that it is your choice how it goes. Okay, so and are you saying that's just on here? No. Nope. And that was last night too? No, yeah, that last night as well. Last night as well. So you're saying if we examine the footage last night, you were not the first one to start interrupting everybody. Yeah. I wasn't the one begging. You're saying I wasn't the one begging that we go to one minute, one minute responses and you weren't the one interrupting every time we started talking? I was not the first one to start interrupting. Yeah, I'm not going to go as far as to say that you yeah. were the first one because it could have been somebody else. But I'm going to tell you but, right now, I literally, I started the whole thing like, you know what? Because I, I, I've watched it before, so I'm like, you know what? Let's do the one minute, one minute right off the dump. Because I want to be able to get my one minute uninter uninterrupted. And, and we started off letting you guys get your one minute. The minute that we started going, you were the first person to interrupt from what I remember. Uh, it's well known so that, that um, wherever I go, the way that I act is a reflection of the person that I'm talking to. And this can be seen in many occasions. My discussion with Jaronism is one of my favorites because although I disagree with everything that Jaronism says, um, conversations with him are generally, generally palatable because he allows me to have my say and, you know, it's a good back and forth. Um, and, you know, let's just say that it's up to you how this goes. I hope it can be a decent conversation. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit heated because there's nothing wrong with having passion, right? But just that's, it's very important that you're aware that that is the way that I do business. Well, I mean, I hear you and I hope that you ring, you, you ring true to that. I mean, you've been respectful so far on your platform. But I'm going to tell you right now, last night, that I did not, that is not the way that I remember last night. Yeah. I remember trying my best to be extremely respectful and help, help everybody get the, uh, you know, the equal amount of talking time. And I remember you forcing me to become the Incredible Hulk, honestly. Because <laughs> everybody who knows me knows that that's how I am, right? It's like, I, can, I, I will have a respectful conversation and try my best to not interrupt. And, and if I do and you say stop, I will stop gladly, right? Until somebody turns me into the, into the Incredible Hulk. You know what I mean? I, I, honestly, I thought that you were, Hulk. you had seen my debates before and you knew that, like, okay, this guy is a werewolf, right? So if I come in as a full moon, I can get him to go rah, rah, and a full moon is you interrupting uncontrollably. I bet if we watch that debate back right now, the first thing we're going to see is you uh, interrupting once we get to the beginning. I would uh, suggest uh, you, you, you read the comments in, in that debate. But anyway, moving forward, that they're right. moving forward, that, that's just how it's going to go, right? So there's a few things that you've been saying that I would like to discuss. Um, the main one is Earth's motion, specifically Earth's rotation, because you keep making the claim that all scientists agree that there's no motion to the Earth, which is plainly a false thing to say, because there's entire branches of science dedicated to measuring Earth's rotation and experiments being done all the time to measure Earth's rotation. Uh, I can present you a large list of measurements of Earth's rotation. I myself have personally measured Earth's rotation, but most importantly of all, good old flat earther Bob Nadell measured Earth's rotation. Right, so, and how did you differentiate between that and the sidereal rotation of the stars translating a motion down to the Earth? Well, um, my experiment didn't see the stars. It was in a room. Um, there's no mechanism for the movement of the stars to transfer motion down. That is just a thing, an so ad hoc familiar, explanation. You're not familiar with Max principle? Yeah, Max principle has no maths that says the movement of the stars will move things as we expect on Earth at all. Also, Max principle is a it purely say, no, it hyper... say that. No, but by the principle, it's saying oh. that there would be an energy transfer from motion yeah motion yeah yeah energy. but again it's hand. it's purely a hypothetical thing with no you're saying it's hypothetical. With, 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 no it's not it, because the, we can actually measure the earth's rotation max principle is nothing in reality it's literally a thought experiment right and it also does not say that the forces involved would do the things that we see on earth measuring well, earth's so rotation is something that's very simple to do I myself it did it. Specifically, but it does imply that, though. It does imply no, that. No, it, um, it, it specifically... The maths behind Max principle specifically Einstein says... 
Wait, hold on. You see how you're interrupting me when I'm trying to get a thought out? All right? Remember what I said? So, um, well, match I print... remember what you said, but, but we also have to have equal time to talk. So that's why I like doing one minute, one minute. If you get one minute, let me respond with the same amount of time. Because what's happening right now, what happened last night while I had to turn up, was because you talk for a long time. Then once I start responding a little bit, you interrupt again, and then you try to accuse me of interrupting. You're a smart guy, and I'm pretty sure that you do that on purpose because you understand it's a debate tactic. But I see you doing that, and let's just make sure uh, we get equal oh, talking yeah, time. Okay. I don't but mind not interrupting you, I but when I talk, you know. You have to understand that when an explanation is being given or an answer to a question, that is going to normally require more speaking time. And right now, I'm trying to give an explanation of, of what maths principle is so that we can move past that. So if you can just give me a second to explain. Uh, the maths behind maths principle specifically says that the the transfer of you know, motion would not be anywhere near the same as what we actually experience on Earth in reality. Um, the, the Coriolis forces that are on Earth would not be explained by Max Principle. Ma on, the fact is that Max Principle is purely how, how is a that? thought experiment. Can you explain that further to me? But yeah, like, the, how, yeah right. So, you're just asserting um, it. Well, Max Principle talks about a, a, a rotating shell at a specific distance around Earth. Um, and it, the maths describes okay. how the further away from the interior of that shell you are, the diminishing returns of the apparent transfer of motion would be. Uh, it also has no explanation uh, transfer for the transfer of motion, right? Yeah, but uh, again, transfer like of motion. yeah, like I said, the forces involved as you move away from the outside of that shell towards the center would be less and less and less and less, and would not be the same as what we experience on Earth in reality. You're just or, saying that, though. You don't know. No, 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 no. Right. That's actually uh, that's what the maths of math principle says. You can look at the maths yourself and go through it. But it talks what about a rotating what shell. Yes. Well, no, 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 no. What, what do you mean I can look at it? Explain that to me. I, I, I'm, I am trying I can to say that too. No, no, no. Okay. The maths do the opposite. I can say it just like you say. No, the uh, maths do the opposite. Now where uh, do we uh, have? Okay. We both Ross, just Ross, said hold it. on. Now hold move on. it. Though. I am literally. Hold on, Ross. Hold on. I am just talking you through what maths principle says, okay? We can look at the maths in a minute if you want. It doesn't say you... any of that in there. You said all that. No, no, that's what maths principle implies. That's what the maths of maths principle says. That's not me saying it. That's you. That's me telling you what no, maths principle the second implies. Part, no, the second part, you saying that it would not act this way on the earth that's not yeah, that's right. what they, they actually, actually say that what, in Max Principle. That's what they're okay, talking but, no, about. No, see, you're interrupting me out. You're interrupting me out. You see? Yeah, but you so, interrupted right. me because I haven't finished respect. what I was saying. I, I need the same respect, though. See, this is, but, why I wanted, uh, my, this is why I wanted a moderator because I'm like, look, if you give me that respect, I won't yeah, interrupt you. Yeah, but Ross, you. you've been I, interrupting. I, I, I haven't I finished what I'm saying and you're interrupting, right? Just give me the chance to explain to you Max Principle. You're saying through that whole five minutes, you didn't stop talking one time. Well, well, that's right. ridiculous. But you keep interrupting me. Right. You shouldn't be talking for five minutes. Ross, give me a chance to explain to, to you. Saying, Ross, give me a chance. For you. Well, you can't respond if I haven't explained. Let me finish you explaining. You no, I didn't. Said, you, li right. you literally just said, I explained what... See how you keep interrupting, Ross? You keep interrupting. Ross, you keep interrupting. Right. No, you yeah. keep interrupting, Ro dog. Ross, look, look, let me look, know when you're done talking. Uh, literally, I two. Go, I got two. Me, I got right? less than a and word out, done, and you interrupted. When you're done, then I'll go. Yeah, but oh, that's what I, that's what I want. Okay, right. So this is what Max Principle says. This is the basis of Max Principle. It describes a rotating shell at a specific distance away from Earth. So a shell encompassing Earth that is rotating. You just a said hollow that. shell, right? Okay. Don't interrupt. Let me finish the entire explanation, right? And the maths. Of that, if there were this transfer of motion, which it describes no mechanism for, but if there were this transfer of motion, it describes those forces being less and less and less the further away from the interior of the shell you are towards the center, which means that in no way would they be the same as we experience on Earth, considering we can calculate the forces applied on Earth based on our latitude. That does not transfer to max principle of a rotating shell, which again is a purely hypothetical concept with zero mechanism behind, so can be dismissed from the conversation. I've finished. Are you done now? Okay. Fantastic. So, yeah, the explanation that you gave is correct, but you saying now this applies exactly to why we wouldn't see it on the earth, right? That's a slick way of just, you know what I mean, a fallacious false cause. Well, I think this, and so therefore this. No, that's not true, okay? 
Marx's no, principle think... agreed on by Einstein. Marx's principle agreed on by Einstein, right? Based upon what you said, right? Yeah, there could be a detection of motion, right? That would basically essentially be the same thing what you think is the Earth rotating because we only know that the Earth is rotating from our observation of the stars. So for you to say, I think the Earth is rotating, and for us to take a measurement not of the Earth rotating, of something else, and then we say, how is this proof of the Earth rotating? You say, because it's the same amount that I think the Earth is rotating. That's circular reasoning. That's a reification fallacy. That's, That's exactly what it is. None of that is what I said, Ross. You didn't listen to anything that I said. I was. That is what you said. <clears throat> I, I need to reiterate. Max principle specifically describes forces that are not the same that we experience on Earth in reality, right? That is the problem, right? Max principle does not explain the forces that we have on Earth. It, it, it isn't an explanation for what we experience on Earth. Max principle is purely a thought experiment, saying that maybe this could this could happen, but again, does not explain the actual measurements that we get. Because the mass does not match the measurements. Okay? Do you understand? Can I go now? I, I, yeah, I just asked you. Do you, do you understand what I just said? Could, well, right, I'm going to respond. Do me a favor. I'm, I'm going to yeah, respond. If steel man. Gonna respond, right, respond. Yeah, yeah, do me a favor and steal man what I just said to you. I'm going to I'm gonna say what I want to say if that's okay. I'm a free mind. I want to go with what I was on my mind. If that's all right with you. So I want to respond to what you said, right? So the reality is, right? that just like you're saying it's a thought experiment, right? That shows blah, 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 right? I, I agree, right? Because there's no actual experiments that I know of that prove that Marx principle is a scientific theory, just like there's no scientific experiments that prove relativity. Is well, there is, we get to that, you know but I mean? there absolutely is. Right, no, no, there's not, right? No, so, there absolutely is, the reality we can discuss is, it. So the reality is if you disagree that what we pick up, right, from the Nicholson and Gale experiment could also be explained by sidereal rotation, then you're disagreeing with Einstein and mm -hmm. most physicists on the planet. So you're no. technically a science no. denier. That's why I call you that. No, you're again, the you're physicists on shit. the planet disagree you're, with what you're, you're saying. Your own shit. I'm not done. I'm not done. You're making up your own shit. You're pulling this out of your ass. It sounds good because you're a good talker, but to, to be 100% honest, I, like I said, you said, well, the equations agree with me. All right, well, if that's true, then bring the equations up and explain explain it to us step by step. Like, I, I took yeah. math and calculus and trigonometry. It's not that difficult to understand if you explain it to me. So then if you're willing I, to do that, explain, just explain how it to you. How, however, that. I do need to point out that what you're saying about physicists agreeing with you, no, they don't. Physicists agree that the Earth rotates. No, they do not. Yeah, they absolutely 100% do. There's physicists in my chat right now that say the Earth rotates. Literal physicists okay. with PhDs. Literal. They all agree that the Earth rotates. Shout out them. Shout right? out them. All, all physicists, all of current science agrees that the Earth rotates. Um, the fact is that Marcus and Morley all, all disproved the science. aether. Uh, Marcus and Gale also showed that the Earth rotates, um, but, which is very interesting. So what, now, what, what, so what now anyway, all, what, what, back, back to the science. experiments that we were, uh, I was originally discussing. The one that I specifically did that shows that the Earth rotates, which is nothing. It can't even see the stars. It can be done in the sealed room and you always get the same results. Do you know of Foucault's pendulum? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, but explain it for the audience so everybody knows. Or go ahead. Well, uh, do you, and just before I explain it, do you know Foucault's pendulum? Look, 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 make your point because if I start talking, then I'm going to start talking. All right. It, it's a, just a yes or a no. Do you know it? Yes or no? It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if you don't. It's fine if you don't. I just need to know the basis of if you've heard of Foucault's pendulum, if you have any understanding. Everybody any has basis heard of, of that. Yes, everybody's heard right. of it. And, and, yes. and do you have any basic understanding of the principles behind Foucault's pendulum? Listen, listen, listen. Make your point and then I'll respond. All right. I'm, this is not like trivia time. All right. If well, anybody no, I, wants I, to know again, what I'm just, I'm just, if you're, trying, I'm to, just, if you're it, trying to, you're trying to edify the audience, then tell them to go Google it. If you want to teach me something, well, right? My audience know about Foucault's pendulum. I've explained it many times. I, I, point? All I'm doing is asking if you have any base knowledge of the subject before I start talking to you because I, I'm, I'm, I'm a tutor. I'm a teacher. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I have, I, 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 I'm following all the physicists. They all agree that based on all scientific experiment, we cannot prove that the Earth is moving whatsoever. Should I read? Well, if all physicists I disagree with you, of course. Like from literally, Einstein? the physicists in directly my chat. I have come disagree. to believe that the motion of the Earth cannot be detected by any optical experiment. 
Yeah, that, again, I'm, no, I'm, no, not using like a, I'm not using an optical experiment. Um, and he's specifically talking about Earth's orbit around the sun, uh, not Earth's rotation right. around the its Earth own axis. Not, the Earth is not moving around the sun. The Earth is well, not moving. Whatever you want to... I, I get how you're trying to... to Narrow in on the fact that oh we, we proved the side your rotation but guess what you've never proved the Earth is moving around the sun have you all right well, so yeah as long as we, we absolutely that, have but okay, we're, right now right now we're talking sun. about Earth's well, rotation we're the right huh? right now we're talking specifically about Earth's rotation around its own axis no no okay? I, no my my you're talking about it I said yeah. they haven't proved that the Earth is moving period. Period. Yeah, okay, okay. We, right now, I right now I am specifically talking about Earth's rotation and how we can right, definitely right. show that it is rotating, right? Um, and sure, that's why that's sure. why I asked you: if you have any base knowledge of Foucault's pendulum experiment? Do you understand the mechanism behind it, the setup behind it? Do you understand what the how implications this? How about, how about of it this? are? How about this? Nikola Tesla, yeah, Nikola Tesla thought that it was the ether moving, and that's why. The pendulum but, okay, would move like that. All right? yeah, and the, he the, used the that to been disproven. every single piece of electronic equipment that we pretty much have today uh, indirectly. But again, well, the aether's been disproven, but we're not talking about Tesla. We're talking about Foucault's pendulum. No, it has not. That's a lie. What, uh, well, what, what more, experiment did disprove that? What, all right, Max and Morley, but um, we'll get back to that. We're talking about Foucault's no, 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 pendulum, no, not Tesla, right? Um, so, uh, again, I, I'll just ask the question briefly again. Do you understand what Foucault's pendulum is doing in, in, do in the experiment? What it is? Do you yeah, you I do. What it is? I'm, I'm just asking Explain if you. Explain right, okay. it to us. You can give me a no. If you don't know, it's fine to say no. If you right? don't know, then you say you don't know. Well, I definitely know. I've explained it hundreds oh, of times. Look, look, look. Make your point, and then I'll right. make my point. How about that? Like. Right, okay, so we, I'm just going to go on with the assumption that you don't know what Foucault's pendulum is, and I'll, I'll explain it to you as a very basic experiment, okay? So, thank you. The, the, the important thing in science is that you test an assumption, you know, because your hypothesis is an assumption about something. Um, so, you, you have to form a prediction based on that hypothesis and then test that prediction. That's, that's what the basic version of the scientific method says. Um, obviously, there's a lot more than that in reality, but let's go with that basic version of the scientific method. So, the hypothesis that the Earth is rotating would give a prediction that at different points on the Earth, at different latitudes on a rotating Earth, so, you know, at the North Pole, here, here, and the equator, there would be different right. forces applied as it's rotating. Yes. Okay? Of course. So, th those of are called course. Coriolis speed, forces. Et so, yes. at, at the equator... Um, there's basically zero Coriolis forces because it's perpendicular to you know, the uh, the axis of rotation. Right. At the North and South Pole, you get the most Coriolis forces. The the consequence and, of this, and that's all alleged. That's all alleged because we're assuming a model now. By the way, again, we're testing we're testing a hypothesis, and the hypothesis the Earth is rotating. So you know, we, of course, we're making that assumption because that is the hypothesis we're testing, right? And we're forming a prediction based on that. So. If, so if that's the case, the Earth is rotating and those Coriolis okay, forces. But just are, out of curiosity, though, we're just out of curiosity. In that experiment, what was the initial observation that we took that gave us the assumption that the Earth was a globe in the first place? What was the uh, initial observation that took place? Uh, my my observation would be um, the uh, the movement of storm systems. Hmm, that's okay. That's new. Go ahead. Yeah. But again, an observation how, can be anything. How, how, how is that an observation that it's a globe, though? I'm curious. Be, how, because how do we to, to, because to me, that, that would... For me. But, but to me, that would suggest that we're on a rotating Earth because the physics would explain that. So, But again, an observation can be anything, right? The observation could be the movement of the stars. Can you, can you explain that further? I feel like you're just asserting that. I think that you're... Well, yeah, of course I'm out. asserting it. That's that's the first thing you do. You make an observation okay, and then okay, you, okay, thought, so you, you make an assumption sure, about then. it. You don't know it for sure, though. Well, no. It's again, that's why that's why you test, Right. But physics says that if the Earth is rotating, then storm systems do what we see. That, that that's okay, you know, okay, physically oh. that makes sense when you apply no, 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 when you it. apply the Coriolis forces. Okay. So anyway, right. So no, 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 my, no, no, just to clarify my question though, I'm just saying what observation that we took where you're like, oh wow, it looks like the Earth is a globe. Because I don't understand how. Well, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, well, right, right, right now, I'm, the my observation suggests that the Earth is ro is a rotating globe. Right. The, the movement of Which storm systems, right, my, my observation system. of the movement of storm systems suggests to me that the Earth is a rotating globe. So I, right? I can look at something else and assume that that's an observation for yeah. a different thing moving? Yeah, absolutely. Th that's fine. Uh, in, in science, you can make any assumption you want for your hypothesis. It doesn't matter. The fact is that you test it, right? 
but, but, but I can go with a different. Is, so I, I can go with a different observation. It doesn't matter. The point is what? that we test it, right? No, so, no, but that's not as, us actually seeing it though. Because if we test it and we never observed it, we're assuming the observation. Of course, we, we assume the observation. That's the first, first thing you do. Assumption is an so important part of science. The Earth curve. Or uh, again, right? When wait, did we observe right, that. You, you, uh, Assumption is an important part of the scientific process. You do understand that, but right? Not observation? You're trying to yeah, change I, the Yeah, my, my observation, observation my, obs right, my observation is that storm systems are doing something that suggests we're on a rotating globe. No, that's that my just observation. suggests that the storm systems are doing something. That's all that suggests. Well, my brain you, is working properly. If you look you, at the storms and you see them doing, yeah, that's all okay. that means. Oh, we see the storms. To you. Right to me, seeing the storm systems. Anybody do... with eyes, anybody with critical thinking. Uh, uh, again, you're How you're you interrupting assume... me, right? Uh, uh, but again, my bad, my bad, this is important. Bad. This is this what is important. Saying, it's crazy you though. Understand. What you're Hold saying, on, Ross, Ross. Ross, stop, stop. This is important, Ross. It doesn't matter. Your listening. observation can be anything. It doesn't matter, right? The observation to me gives me the suggestion because I've observed storm systems all over the world. And the movement of storm systems all over the world, to me, suggests that the physics implies we are on a rotating globe, right? That that's what my that's observation. Not a direct observation, though. I, I can is. appreciate that, but it's not a direct observation. But it is, so for me, it's an, for me, it's an observation. The scientific method. No, no, I did. I've done my observation, and from my observation, I formed a hypothesis. That's what you do. It, so you don't directly observe the thing. You observe a thing and then you form a hypothesis as to why that thing is happening, right? So I observe the storm systems moving in a particular way, right? My hypothesis for why the storm systems on Earth move in that particular way is because we are on a rotating globe, rotating at 0 0.00694 RPM, right? My, uh, my observation gives me that hypothesis, and then that means I can form a prediction because we talked about the different Coriolis forces at different latitudes. We can make a prediction that different forces will be applied to something that is moving. And that means you can then right. form an experiment to test that prediction. And a perfect way to okay. test that prediction is to have something moving at those latitudes and measure the forces applied. And that's what the food okay. pendulum is. You get a swinging bob attached via a pivot point and you let it swing for as long as you can. And you watch to see if that swing drifts from a straight line path. And then you measure the amount that is drifted. Because the prediction says at the um, equator there should be no drift, but at the poles there should be 360 degrees in 24 hours and obviously a varying amount in between. That is the predictions that you test with the experiment, right? Are you following so far? I'm following you, right? But what you're saying right now is severely incorrect. You can. Well, it's not. That. This is the scientific method. No, it is not. One hundred percent is. No, you skipped the first. You did not observe anything at all. I I whatsoever. observed storm systems. You're saying I guessed. You're saying I guessed that something was happening. I guessed. Absolutely. I what what do you think guessed. a hypothesis is? A hypothesis is an educated guess. That's it. Based based on observation. Yeah, you exactly. My control. observation, I observed the storm systems doing a particular right. so, thing. So, so everything after that is data on the storm systems, not data no. on the Earth. No, it's not. I that, that makes I, sense. No, 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 it's not. Yeah, oh, I, I, my, not. My, I've made I an observation. Right, right. Ross, right, okay, let's go back because you're obviously getting confused, right? Is this an observation? I'm not getting confused. You're getting confused. And you should no, confuse everybody else. You're if clearly I take getting confused. data from the sky, Ross. that is not data of the Earth. That's data of the sky. Yeah, right. you're, you're, you're mixing, you're mixing the on. steps here. Stop right. Craig Ross, lie to you. That's crazy. Ross, right, okay, um, I get paid to tutor people. But anyway, so, right, let's start again. I'm, is, I'm this, for them. is this an observation, yes or no? I have a, I've looked at the storm systems all over the world and seen how they right. move. Is that an observation? A, of the storm system? No, no, yes. no, it's, it's, it's a question, a yes or no question. Is it an observation, yes or no? It's an observation of the storm system. It, no, d d you don't need to add anything else. Is it an observation? Yes or no. Yes or no. I'm going to stay at that. Yes. For the yes, storm thank system. you. Right. It's, 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 an ob it's an observation. Exactly right. Okay. So I have observed the storm systems. Now, I am going yes. to make an educated guess as to why 
the storm systems are doing what they're doing, right? My educated guess as to why the storm systems are doing what they're doing, i.e. rotating a particular way in the northern hemisphere compared to the southern hemisphere, i.e. dying if they cross the equator, right? My hypothesis as to why these things happen is that the Earth right. is a rotating globe. Now, it could be a valid hypothesis, but you would have to manipulate variables in the experiment, yes. To the Earth. No. Related to the it, Earth, though. No, it, the, you do that's, the variable... That's what you're talking about. Hold on. You do the variable manipulation in the experiment, not the, not the hypothesis. The hypothesis, hypothesis is just... Your hypothesis is basically about the Earth. You're saying the Earth is moving. Yeah, yes. That, exactly. So my hypothesis... So, oh, yes. Yeah, so, right, so, and, and, so I haven't got to the experiment bit yet, so that I, I haven't manipulated anything yet. I haven't got to that. We're just at the hypothesis stage. My educated right. guess, my assumption as to why... The storm systems are doing those particular things is that the earth is a rotating globe that would it explain why the storm systems are doing what they're doing that's why it's an educated guess well, well but to me it's not it's not edu well maybe it's educated but to me it's not a valid hypothesis or, or valid it doesn't matter if it's hypothesis. a valid hypothesis to you but it is well, in reality. i'm just giving my opinion on it. all right fine well, it well science right. doesn't it matter, matter about you know, science really I'm doesn't care it. about right. your opinions all right but, but, but well guess what look I'm going to say it anyways, all right? So in my right. opinion, right, yeah, it could be a hypothesis, but as far as the scientific method goes, no, it's not a hypothesis. It, no, in, in it's, no, it's either a hypothesis or it isn't. No, there's hypotheses that don't have anything to do with science. This I'm talking about the hypothesis within the scientific method. The hypothesis within the scientific method. The scientific method. This, no. The hypothesis within the scientific method is an educated guess about why your observation is happening. Yes or no? Right, but it has, it has to be related to the actual thing. I don't, it I is. Can't say it absolutely say, is. Right? My, again, right. No, it's not. No, so it's not. my observation. Sorry, I've just pulled you out have my not, headphones. No, you have to make mm. that connection. Right, one sec. There's one no sec. Proof. I can't. Stop. No proof, I, my, I, stop talking. I pulled out my headphones. Stop talking. Fuck's sake, Ross. I pulled out my headphones. I couldn't hear. You need to stop talking when I say stop talking. Right. So once again... Maybe I didn't uh, explain my observation clear enough for you, okay? So I've been all over the world. I was in the Royal Navy. And I, observe, I have observed storm systems out at sea. I have watched them all over the world, okay? And I have made the observation that storm systems move one way in the Northern Hemisphere and another way in the Southern Hemisphere, the, the way they rotate. I have observed that storm systems die when they cross the equator, okay? Now... Hold on, say that again. Say it again. I, I have observed that storm systems rotate one way in the northern hemisphere and they rotate another way in the southern hemisphere. I have observed that storm systems die when they cross the equator. Okay? Now, okay. A, a, the hypothesis for why that happens is that the Earth is a rotating globe because the forces involved would explain the storm systems doing that. Right? So my hypothesis is that the Earth is a rotating globe with a circumference of 3959 that rotates at 0 0.000694 RPM. That means there is physical consequences, which comes to the next stage, prediction. The prediction is that based on your position on Earth, your latitude, you will have different forces applied. Then based on that prediction, you can form an experiment. The way to test that prediction is to have something moving at those different latitudes to test the forces applied, which is where we come to the Foucault's pendulum. You with me? Okay. Yeah, so, but there's a problem right there. The no, issue there isn't is, there. right, even if I do grant you all that, even if I do, because there's a bunch of assumptions, and again, right, you cannot take an observation of the sky and say, well, let me make a hypothesis about the Earth now. You can, but it wouldn't be valid, all right? Well, why, why would it not be valid? Let's say I give you that. Hold on, let me, let me, let me finish though. Let's say I give you that, right? The reality is that there are variables that you cannot and have not manipulated, right, that do play a role, like the electromagnetic nature of everything on the universe. So well, yeah, we get to that in the experiment. Tons of published papers. They, have, they have tons of published papers, right, that talk about how gravitational fields are affected during lightning storms. So you don't know how these measurements and these forces are affected by the different magnetic field. Uh, uh, or the different but we can measure the those things. Field that is the Earth. But we, we can measure those things, but again, we do that they're in the... They're unpredictable, though. But they're unpredictable. We can still measure them, but also, um, 
<laughs> we, that that's part of the what hold on is, Ross, hold on hold on let me speak let me get two words out let me get two words out there we go that comes in the experiment stage we are not at the experiment stage yet we have simply formed a hypothesis as to why our observation happens made a prediction and now we are trying to find a way to test that prediction to test that prediction we perform uh, we design an experiment when we design that experiment we take into account other forces that could be involved to try and make sure that they don't interfere with the experiment you know we, we have certain controls that are in place with a Foucault's pendulum a way that we could a way that we could control for say electromagnetic forces is by doing the experiment multiple times with different materials because it is an empirical fact that different materials react differently to electromagnetic forces. However, but regardless, at the same rate. We're talking about Foucault's pendulum right now, right? What, I what know, but find, no, no, but that, but that. No, uh, is let's not sidetrack with something else. Like let's not sidetrack. We're talking specifically about Foucault's pendulum, okay? Right. Uh, now, again, that is the electromagnetic field. Uh, again, hold on. How it reacts to other. It you you, you haven't let me finish my point. You have not let me finish my point. You are jumping ahead. Let me finish and then you can respond, right? If there was an electromagnetic... At least we know that I'm following you, though. At least we know that I am following you. You're really not. Um, if there was an electromagnetic influence affecting the experiment of Foucault's pendulum, then you could do the experiment with different materials and you would get different results. However, regardless of the material, you get the same results with Foucault's pendulum, which means that it is not affected by an electromagnetic interference of any kind. That is not okay? what that means at all. That's textbook false calls. H how is that not what it shows? Because like I said, there are gravitation, like, there are gravitational anomalies in, in, in thunderstorms, which that are- all right, don't, don't do it during a thunderstorm. Don't understand. It's a sign that we don't understand, right? Well, actually we, we do understand why that happens. Gravitational fields. No, we actually do understand why, why that happens. Why am I the only one that gets to get interrupted? Why am I the only one that, get, that has to get interrupted? And that's why I'm saying, I'm like, I get why you didn't want a moderator because you were afraid that I would get the whole sentence out. All right? Uh, uh, but there are gravitational okay. anomalies that occur for a bunch of different reasons. Yeah, and we understand why those happen in thunderstorms, actually. We, we, we actually understand. This is, right. I didn't even hear Focus myself. Pendulum. I didn't hear you. Foucault's pendulum has nothing to do with gravity, but um, we do understand why those gravitational anomalies happen in thunderstorms, and that's simply because an electromagnetic charge um, between the Earth and the clouds and Focus, flips. In my worldview, Foucault's pendulum uh, is no. The okay, so I was uh, too. I was so in the I middle of the talking. That's of, why I, I was the in two. the middle of saying things. Of course, um, I do apologize I the there, Ross. When you cut me Ross, off. I do apologize the in the middle of my sentence, interrupting the beginning of yours. That's very talking. bad of you. I didn't hear what you said at the beginning so, of your um, sentence because I was talking. Yeah, so anyway, Ross. What um, are you talking so, about? so again, um, in a thunderstorm, we understand why there's gravitational anomalies because the electromagnetic charge between the ground and the clouds actually flips during uh, a thunderstorm, which can very, 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 very slightly change your weight because you know. Electromagnetic forces is another forces involved, but that's actually accounted for. However, Foucault's pendulum, it doesn't How matter do if it's do that. How do they do that? You can weigh, you can measure people. How do they account for the electromagnetic forces? By they, they're measuring the change in electromagnetic forces. How? By weighing someone and seeing if there's a change in their weight because a different force was applied. You don't believe that's a proper way to measure somebody's change in the electromagnetic force, do you? You don't believe that. Well, a force would ch uh, change the somebody, weight of the person. Weigh, you said weighing somebody. You can weigh somebody. And weight is a the direct result of gravity, yes. Magnetic force. Yeah, Are my because, ears working properly? Is that not what you just said? Maybe your brain isn't. Be did you not understand that weight is a direct result of gravity? How do you... Uh, is, it a, is it a direct result of electromagnetic force? Uh, electromagnetic forces are other forces so you can have other forces applying at the same time so you minus one from the other it's called a sum of forces but anyway back to Foucault's pendulum you're, 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 ah, you're not slick you're either so smart and, that you anyway back to Foucault's pendulum back to, right stop sidetracking back to Foucault's pendulum would, okay would, back, to Foucault, move, back, move, back to Foucault's move. pendulum back to Foucault's pendulum that was good that was good so anyway back to Foucault's pendulum um, so we know it's not affected by electromagnetic forces because regardless of the material used or the weather it's done in, we always get the same results, okay? The basis of Foucault's pendulum is that there I, are Coriolis forces... I know that's not true, right? But 
Even no, if that was true, amazing. Was I was in the middle of. I was literally in the middle of a sentence. That's that's crazy. Uh, anyway, so. Um, uh, anyway, so we know that Foucault's pendulum isn't affected by electromagnetic forces because regardless of the weather it's done, regardless of the material used, regardless of what happens around it, but electromagnetically it doesn't affect the experiment. So um, anyway, the basis of Foucault's pendulum is that because it's moving, there will be Coriolis forces applied to it laterally moving against Earth's rotation. But because it's attached to the Earth by a pivot point, that allows the Earth to rotate underneath it. And depending on your latitude on Earth, there will be different forces applied and you'll be able to measure the angle of the drift and calculate your latitude. And I'm not just saying this. I did it personally. Oh, yes and No, again, I'm not, I did it personally. And here is a video of it being done by a guy called the Gentleman Physicist. Let me just bring this up for you, which is what she said. So this guy is called the Gentleman Physicist. He looks very tired there because he's actually just uh, done a bunch of exams before he did this video. <laughs> um, he did a bunch of something before. <laughs> I don't he, know if it's exams. <laughs> no, he'd literally come off of a bunch of exams. He was very tired. Um, but then he did this video about Foucault's pendulum, right? And what he did was in a local high-rise building, he set up his own Foucault's pendulum uh, attached to the top of the stairwell. Um, really, really long line, massive bob, right? And... Um, allowed it to swing for as long as he could. Um, so this is the bob and it's a massive concrete ball uh, with some uh, wire, copper wire around it attached with a carabiner to some fishing wire that they've tested for torque to make sure there's no twist involved. Um, and he's got it to the side and he burns the string and it swings, all right? So what you do with this experiment is you let it swing for as long as it can. Now what they've done is they've put a little ink pad and a brush on the pendulum. And as that pendulum swings back and forward, that brush goes through that ink pad and draws a line. Now, obviously, it's not going to go forever be because friction against the, the air and everything. So they can let it go for as long as they can. Um, in this case, 41 minutes. And then they can measure the angle that is changed over 41 minutes. Um, so, Right, the sidereal rotation. Yeah, they're measuring the sidereal rotation. There it is, the, proof. Again, the, you, you, I, I don't think you know what Cyril rotation is. I've been is. sitting here quiet for three minutes, dog. Can I put? Is it like these? Like that? Well, like let, no, let me finish. I get that right. you. I get, I yeah. get that you want to use your tactics so you can sit here and lecture Ross, me. Ross, let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish, and then you can. Five minutes, and then when I talk, you start interrupting. But yeah, dude, Ross, let on, me finish I, then. I, right. Let me finish. You talk for a minute, and then let me respond for a minute. All right. Well, the, a minute isn't going to get through what I'm trying to do. It's going to be like last night. Hey, right. you, so you, anyway, let, if you let me finish what I'm saying, I'm not right. going to sit here and let you interrupt me for a whole hour. So uh, anyway, so point, anyway, let me let finish. Me yeah, I, I, well, gonna be. once I oh, once I finished, I, once I finished, I will let you talk. Uh, so anyway, because so, I'm gonna tell you right now. After yeah, you finish, so, if I start anyway, talking, you interrupt me. Uh -huh. no, so anyway, Ross, uh, if you if you let me talk, that'd be wonderful. Thank you, good boy. Uh, so anyway, um, so what you do is you you measure the angle, which they they do, and then you can figure out how long. It would have taken to do 360 degrees. Uh, first of all, it's gone clockwise, which matches being in the Northern Hemisphere prediction. But anyway, they measure it, and the, the angle was 7.89 degrees. All right, that, that's what they got when they actually measured the angle there. All right, 7.89 degrees. Now, the important thing that they did with that is a thing called Foucault's sine law to calculate their latitude on Earth. Right, so you take the latitude, you times it by arc sine um, uh, times by uh, 24 hours divided by T, which is the amount it took to do 360 degrees, and you can calculate your position, actual latitude on Earth, which they did, right? So this matches right, just, the hey, prediction. Just, just so you know, I'm, I'm start, I'm starting my stopwatch right now. You've already been talking for five minutes. Let's see how long you keep talking. I've not right been talking now, for five minutes me to sit here quiet, listen to your bullshit. Yeah, I've Go not ahead. been talking for listening. five minutes. I'm still uh, listening. Go ahead. I know I've, you're not done talking. That's why I said yeah, I, I said I've not been dummy. talking Go for ahead. five minutes. I've not been talking for five minutes, and it would have been sure quicker if you didn't you interrupt. You want to talk for five more? Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. It would have been quicker if you didn't interrupt. And you can keep your stopwatch going as long as you like. Welcome to my show. Um, so they measured the latitude on Earth. They calculated where they are. And that matched the prediction of what the experiment said. And that is how we can show that the Earth rotates using an empirical measuring device. So how do you feel about that, Ross? All right. So you, you talk for five minutes plus 47 seconds. I did do not. Do I get to talk for five minutes, 47 seconds? No. All right, how long do I get to go uninterrupted? Let me know so I can put my timer on. 
Well, you don't get to go uninterrupted. You get to go until we need to have a back and forth. So anyway, what do you say about what I've just said? No, no, but you expect to talk interrupted, but I can't talk uninterrupted. That's what you're saying. Well, I was given an explanation, yes. uh, and now this is the back and forth part. So again, so is, what, is, what do you say know. about the explanation? Ross, be stop going, uh, trying to disrail the conversation. What do you think about what I've just buddy, presented? Buddy, 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 there's two, look, there's, look, there's two people in the conversation. Anyway, Ross, what do you think question. about what I've just you presented? You to talk uninterrupted and not yeah. me? And, anyway, Ross, what do, you, what, what do you think? Anyway, Ross, what, what do you think about what I've just presented? Listen, listen, listen. Do you get to talk uninter uninterrupted? And anyway, Ross, what is it you think about what I've just presented? Bro, bro, I'm not, I don't, look, look, I got, I got the stomach of a billy goat, dog. Uh -huh. Are you going to yeah. sit here and let me talk uninterrupted? Or uh, anyway, Ross, um, me? my, my question to you is, is how do you, how do you feel let about what I've just presented for you? I'll let you know if you let me know how long I can talk without you, will you shut the there fuck is, up? There is no time. Just start talking and we can have there a conversation. No All right. So, yeah. so then you, so then when I interrupt you, then you have yeah. nothing to say, anyway, right? What, what do you, what do you Good. think about what Good. I've just said, All right, Ross? Fine, Good. We're on the same page now. Anyway, Ross, what do you think about what I've just said? You can interrupt me. Anyway, Ross, see, what do you think about right? what I've just said? I'll let you know if you shut the hell up. Well, I've been asking you, you several ready? times if you could. Well, right. So anyway, what do you, what, you how do you think about what up. I've just presented? But you, I can't, you, I can't talk if you're talking. I've been asking you to talk. Off you go. But you want to shut the fuck up? I've been asking you to right. talk several stop, times. Stop, 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 stop. So anyway, how stop, do you feel about what I've just presented? Oh, look at still talking. He's still talking. He doesn't want me to go. Yeah, so so how do you feel friend. about what I've just presented? To over to you. This is why he didn't want my friend to moderate. Literally he over to you. Out. No, go, go, go. Literally look, over sentence. to you. He was I'm talking and he's still over talking. To why why, look, why over to you. Why can't I talk Over to you. Ask yourself. Ross, ask yourself. Ross over why to you. Why can I say one sentence I am giving you the floor. Think about it. Think about it. Ross, I am giving you the floor. Over to you. All right. Well, it would be if you would be quiet. You're not slick. Over to you. Come on. It... When you be quiet, I will. Uh, yeah, uh, over to you. On you go. All right. Shut the fuck up. Okay, over to you. On you go. Yeah, I didn't know. Like I said last night, I didn't know they didn't have manners in Britain. I thought you guys were supposed uh, to be anyway, nice. Anyway, Ross, um, uh, over to you, you know I mean? when you're ready. I, th I thought pompous asshole at least meant that you would try to pretend you have manners. You know what I mean? I thought we were supposed to be the uncivilized ones here okay, in America. Uh, anyway, but Ross, please, could you, guys, you, anyway, Ross, right, please you, guys, could you give your response to what I've just said? I'd appreciate that. Thank manners you. are as bad as your food and your teeth. <laughs> Uh, Ross, I, I would very much appreciate if you could please give a response to what I've said. Thank you. Yeah, I will. But I mean, but there's no need in me pretending like I'm going to respond when you're not going to listen. Okay, you've I'm, now been you talking wanna, for three wanna, minutes wanna, and you've said you wanna, nothing. So hey, let's make it fun. I'll joke on you. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Anyway, Ross, um, I, I would very much appreciate if you could respond to what I've just presented. Thank you. Over to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, but you won't be quiet. You know. Anyway, so like I was saying, okay. This is what this is what Craig does, right? So he'll sit there and say 100 untrue things in a row, right? Like, look, this means this, and then this means this, and then this means this, and then I can show this in an, in an experiment. And then he'll pull up an experiment, and he thinks that we're so dumb that we forgot all of that untrue bullshit that you said before you showed that. Nobody disagrees that if you put a pendulum right there, you're going to see a drift, all right? The problem is that they have not been able to separate that from the sidereal rotation. I asked you that question one. You want to talk for five minutes to make people forget that I asked you that question. So I'll ask you the fuck again and go ahead and go off for another five minutes and not answer my damn question. How did they separate from that being caused by the sidereal rotation and earth rotating? How did they do that? Go ahead and talk for another five minutes and not answer my question. It is caused by earth's rotation. You, sidereal how rotation. I said how? Sidereal rotation is earth's rotation. No, that's the rotation of the stars, but no. Jeez, right. Sidereal rotation is the time it takes for Earth to rotate relative to the stars. What? Solar the rotation. Earth rotation is in question. That's a reification fallacy. That's what a sidereal the day is. is. What's in question? So you can't say the proof isn't. What no, all we see is the stars moving. Either you but, don't have right. a brain, or you think we don't. It's Ross, the there is no way that the stars moving could cause the pendulum to move. That's not true. Max principle, buddy. Be, no, uh, no we went through Max principle and how the maths doesn't match. All right, wait, wait, wait. So you're a science denier then. So you're, you deny what? science. No, no, no. The science says yeah, that so Max principle does not explain this. No, you deny again, Max principle. Well, yeah, it's just a, it's just, a, it's just a thought experiment. It's not it's not actual science. But you There's don't no, deny Max principle. Max principle is principle? Max principle isn't science, and Max principle but, doesn't explain but, but, but this. You deny it then. You deny Max principle. I deny that it's got any experimental uh, relevance. It's just a hypothesis, you nothing you're else. Principle, like you're saying it, it don't exist. No, I'm saying it doesn't no explain this. It would create 
a force from the side of your rotation. You, you're deni you're no, denying. No, Max you're Principle denier. is nothing. There you go. So you're a science denier. Ross, Max Principle has nothing to do with sidereal rotation, and Max Principle would not I didn't explain. Say it did. What... I didn't say it did. Right. Okay. But here's the important it's a thing. Principle. It's a here's the principle that happens to be relevant to what you would have from the side of your rotation. I didn't make this up on no, my it's own. Not. I read this from Einstein himself. I'm pulling this right out of Einstein's mouth. So you guys don't even agree, don't even agree with the guy who came up with the theory of relativity. You guys are on the side of the uh, science Ross, deniers. Ross, you're all okay, science deniers. Again, Every one of you in the chat. Max now. principle uh, 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 does not Jay Birdman, Max. Your pal AI, Liz K, you guys are all science deniers. Ross, Ross that's right. right. You don't okay. agree with Einstein. I'm sorry. Okay. You what? don't read Einstein. Ross? You don't want to know what he says. You don't agree. All right, fine. Are you, are you finished ranting? Okay. Um, Maybe. Again, Max principle does not explain the pendulum. They, they, they aren't could. linked. No, it, it, it could. couldn't. No, it could. uh, again, no, it couldn't. Yes, it could. So you're a science denier then. You're denying uh, no, Einstein. Oh, then. Uh, no, again, right. That's what you are. You're denying Einstein. He Ross, said it. Right. I didn't, no, no, I no, he didn't. Listen, I didn't make that up. I didn't come up with that. I read it from Einstein. Einstein Are you did... understanding what I'm saying? I am not right. smart enough to come up with that on my own. Right, I'm Ross, to if you could stop shouting. Scientists. So you're Ross, denying you, the scientists. That's not appealing cool. to authority. Right. Einstein did not... In the, in the crowd to know that he's denying no. the scientists, all right? It's Look, a rude. I told you Are you counting the times he interrupts you, you, me? You got me like this, all right? You yeah. made me like this. Ross, if you could just relax... And let me speak for a second. That'd be wonderful. Look, um, it might be over for that now. You already, I, I, I gave you a warning. I literally said, you know I'm not going to sit here and let you interrupt me for the next hour. I said, yeah. I'm turning green. Don't turn me into the credible Hulk, all right? I don't know Ross, if I can calm down, all right? You, just calm down. There we go. Okay, so again. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, player, all right? You already, right. yeah. Yeah, uh, I may have to now. mute you um, so that I can actually get some words out. Um, Please do. Please, that would be best. Do, do that. All right. So, Max Principle does not explain Foucault's pendulum. Einstein does not say that Max principle would explain Foucault's pendulum. The maths of Max principle goes against what we experience in reality with Foucault's pendulum. I am not a science denier because I'm denying Max principle. I'm denying Max principle because there is zero evidence to suggest Max principle is even a thing in reality. And Max principle relies on there being a rotating shell around the earth for which there is not. You did not respond to anything I said about the Foucault's pendulum. There is no way the movement of the stars could make what happens with the Foucault's pendulum happen, especially not according to Max principle. Okay, you're wrong about that. Like I said, you're right. a science Show denier. Evidence. It's, it's okay. You know right. what I mean, like, Stop you, you, you can say that if you want, but like, right. I didn't come up with Bring that. I, I did not Bring come up with that sentence. I did, Bring not, up. I did not pull that out of my ass like Craig. Bring it up. Craig Bring pulled it, up. it out of his ass. I asked him Bring, where Bring up are. where Einstein said, says that it can be explained. I'm going to give you the definition of science. He said, I'm going to give you the definition of science. I said, where's your references? Where you, where you, he didn't even want to give me a reference for his definition of science. He hates who's references. Def, who's he definition hates science. of science? He, he hates the scientific method. Why are you guys supporting this religious cult zealot? So anyway, could you show me where Einstein said that, please? Everybody can go Google it themselves. This is not study class. This is a debate. If you have to like, say to, to say, oh, you know, here's where Einstein. No, no, that's not true. <sighs> so pull up the math that you were claiming for Marx principle and explain it to us right now. That's what I asked when you first said it. I said, oh, the math shows that. Well, show us the math then. Pull it up right now. I can understand it if you explain it to me simply. Go ahead. Pull the math up. Uh, do, 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 do. Um. I, right, I'm just getting Einstein's quote from Max Principle. Um, Go ahead. Bury because yourself. he didn't say that it can be explained by it. Okay. Uh, pull, um, pull um, okay. Um, so... So, more fundamental problem here is the very existence of a fixed background, which Einstein describes as the fixed star. It's modern relativity, the imprints of Max principle in the initial value problem. I'm sorry, you over my bad. I, 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 I missed it. Say it again, my bad. Well, I'm, I'm just getting to the important part, so hold on. Uh, when we do this, Einstein's equations no, 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 can it, be... No, it sounds like you said something about a fixed, back, a fixed background. I, I missed that. I just... I just yeah. Uh, what was said, right? fun, that's fundamental to the problem is the suggestion of a fixed background, a shell, which Ooh. there obviously isn't because Max principle suggests there is obviously. a rotating shell around the Earth, which there 
empirically is not a rotating shell around the earth unless that's what you're Empirically? You what empirical evidence do you have of that? You said the Ra word empirical. Pull up radar, your empirical evidence. Radar measurements uh, of the sun and the moon. There's definitely no rotating what, shell how around us. How does the radar us. prove there's no shell? Because how? it would see the shell. The radar would see... The radar yeah, it would has be able, eyes, it, it pulls out, and it would see the it shell. It would be able to bounce off, and that you use radar to see things. The radar, hold on, you're telling me when we shoot radar up, it doesn't bounce off anything? Are you lying? Or you we, think yeah, it would, it would bounce off of the shell, but it doesn't. So, so there's we, no quote-unquote ionosphere that blocks radio waves? Not all of them, no. But it does block some, though. Okay. Not all of them, not okay. all of them, no. Oh, oh okay. So, so he didn't say that the shell would have to block all radio waves, but the radio waves do pick up a shell. You just buried yourself. No, they, no, right. they don't they do pick, pick up, up a shell. shell. It's called the ionosphere, buddy. That no, they don't the pick up a, a hollow. They do not pick up a hollow again? shell. Ten they, science denials in one debate. The, right, Max principle is not science. There's nothing scientific about it. There's no experiments. It's just a science? hypothesis. The, the, the ionosphere, the ionosphere is not. The ionosphere is not a hollow shell around the Earth as described by Max principle. How do you know? Well, how do you know? Because Max Principle described it as being really far away. The ionosphere is not really far away. They are not the same Max thing. Max Principle doesn't describe nothing about the ionosphere. It describes the shell being really far away, which the ionosphere is not. Either, like you said, either way, though, it's a theoretical, right, happening of events, like a model that they're creating, just like the theory of relativity. You're right. It's, it's just them theorizing on what they see. It could possibly be this. It's a philosophical discussion. It could possibly be this. It could possibly be that. Just like the theory, just like the theory of relativity. It's just a philosophical postulation. No, a that's, that's a scientific theory. So Mach's principle and the theory of relativity are basically the same thing. No, they're really... Max principle and relativity are not the same thing in the slightest. Again, Max principle... In scientific validity. In no, scientific they're not. Validity. No, they're not. There's oh, yes, experiments... They are. Yes, they there's are. experiments for one theories. there's experiments max prince wasn't even a theory it's a false Which experiment experiments backed up einstein i've been asking this for Ed five eddington days. experiment of 1919 um uh, the pound replica experiment um so, any are, 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 no, any other experiment there, based there, on that the um, person that came up with the theory which experiment did he do it doesn't the person that came up with it, does, it doesn't matter who who, who did oh, it. it don't matter so no. now we can come up with scientific theories with no experiments. Do you see? Other people can do experiments to validate I got your video theories. Of, of your partner from last night, I got a video of him saying, when I say, when I oh my God, you came out with the theory of relativity, I would not have accepted it. You want me to play it for you? I don't really care what he said. That's irrelevant. But again, no, it's relevant you, he's you, an honest you man. can come, you can come up with it. Unlike you. you. He you actually can, follows the scientific method. You, unlike you. You can... I, I'm the one that follows yeah, the scientific method. Yeah. Right, uh, uh, you can come up with a theory and not do the experiments yourself. It doesn't matter. Someone else can do the experiments. No, not a scientific one. No, you cannot. You can come up with a, with a hypothesis and not do the experiment. You cannot. Yeah, yeah come it's up right. With a scientific it doesn't matter that Einstein didn't do. It doesn't matter that Einstein didn't do the experiments. The experiments have been done. So you can't come up with a theory based on somebody else's experience. What are you talking about? They did. Someone else that. can do an experiment Mr. based on someone else's theory. Is the Earth isn't moving? Someone else can do an experiment based on someone's theory. It doesn't the have to be done by the same person. It doesn't have to be done by the same person. The experiment concluded we're not moving. That's what he concluded. I did who, the who, who concluded I that? I say we're not moving. Who concluded that? Mickelson. No, Mixon, Mixon Morley just concluded there was no aether. That's it. No, that's right, how what, they had to write it in the paper. What was no, Mickelson Morley's experiment for? You know, that's the only right. way we can publish, but they're... They're, they're subsequent writings. Right. Anyway, anyway, writings. You, you're trying to go off on tangents. Oh, you don't want to go into gonna, that, right? You don't want to go into that. We're, we're get to that, but you're going off on tangents. Confirm the truth. I'm going to mute you. I'm going to mute you if you don't stop over talking me. All right? I had right. to. You kept over talking me. No, you you've been over talking me. You wouldn't let me get one word my, out. My, I, I was begging you to talk, and you wouldn't. Begging right? me by talking while I'm talking? I, I was literally saying over right? to you and I'm waiting those for you to work talk. On, those tricks work, right, anyway, uh, work on your wife, but not me, all right? I do that to my girls. You're muted. No one can hear you right now. So I'm going to talk and you're going to listen. Right. Again, Max Principle, the actual maths behind Max Principle, which describes the forces being greater at the shell and less and less and less and less as you get towards the center, do not match with reality and what we experience with Foucault's pendulum. Einstein said that 
the rotating body of the shell could possibly change the oscillation plane of the pendulum. However, it was analogous, not exactly the same. He never described the forces as being exactly the same, only analogous, which means similar under certain circumstances, not the same. The maths of Mach principle, again, describes it being greater towards the outside of the shell, less towards the middle. It does not describe Coriolis forces correlating with a rotating sphere. I'm going to unmute you, and then you can respond to that. Um, first of all, I just uh, I want to appreciate you for um, you know being an honest man and admitting that I'm right um, about what Einstein said. And I just want everybody in the audience to know that you know is that what you heard? You, you have to look, 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 look when somebody is giving you you know a win, you want to let them save a little face. All right, so is that what you he really to heard? Save some face, right? Like he wants to save some face by saying, "Well, it wouldn't match up perfectly," but Einstein did say that maybe the idea of the principle could be the answer. But the math didn't. This all is what I've said me. all along. I, I get it. I'll let you save that face. Listen, I'll let you save that face. But I appreciate you for admitting that Einstein did say what I said he said. Right. Well, no, I'll he, he didn't say what you said. Okay, anyway, on. so right. Based on the fact that we know the maths of Mach principle does not match the reality of the Foucault's pendulum. But it's not a scientific theory anyway, so the math doesn't matter. The well, idea of, course, of it could be the reason. And well, no, we, no, it, the, the idea of it... scientifically proven anyway. The idea of it does not match reality. The idea of it would do a specific I mean, thing. No, it couldn't. There's Einstein no maths to say that it could. You, you no, Einstein said that it would, Einstein said that it would not be the same. Einstein specifically said that the forces would not be the same. That's that's neither here nor there, but there would be. Well, a it force. is the here nor there. It's exactly the point. It is therefore there is, yes, not yes, an it's the pendulum. Yes, the pendulum is, is the proof. My hypothesis is that it's right. You're muted because you were shouting. You've been muted, Ross, because you were shouting like a little child. If you're going to act like a child, I'll treat you like a child. It's as simple as that. Um, I told you you get FTFE if you're going to act like a little baby, and you're acting like a baby, so you're going to get FTFE. You're muted. No one can hear you right now, Ross. Right? Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you, so you're going to listen, and I'll tell you when you can talk. Act like a child, you get treated like a child, okay? There we go. So, again, Einstein specifically said that it is not an explanation for Foucault's pendulum. Therefore, Max principle, which is literally just a thought experiment, can be dismissed as the explanation for what we experience with the pendulum. Based on that, what are your thoughts? You can now be unmuted. All right, uh, way to appeal to the exact authority that I was using to disprove your point. But but even then, just because Einstein said, oh, it could not work exactly that way, that doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. The it point is that exactly there are other that. options, and we really don't know what the cause is, right? So if you want to claim like There are no it, other options. That's the reality. There are no other options. There is one option. There is zero other options oh, no, that have... Other options. You quote no. it. Like I said, I'll let you say the faith, but you quoted Einstein a few minutes ago and said, yes, it could be this. So sh but we, we, also we also know that there is not a rotating hollow sphere at the distance described you by Max Principle. You don't know that at all. You don't know none of that. We do. We, we, that. We've sent probes out to Who's space. We? That we Who's know that we? Humanity. You got a mouse in your pocket? Humanity. I know you're not part of humanity. humanity you're below. If we all knew that, we wouldn't even be arguing about this. You should have the proof. Oh, no. It's just stupid people done, argue about it. That's fine. Well, humanity you knows. Proof. You don't have the proof. That's why. You I do. You deny the proof. Pull it up. You put no. You put up your proof. Proof of what? Well, you, you proof of the thing that you said Einstein said. You, I had to. You I had to find the quote for you, you, and it didn't say what you said. All right. So why Einstein do I have to prove it if you know it's true? Why do I have to prove it if you know it's true? Einstein specifically the said truth. that it's not what oh, so you said. Imagine, no, you don't care about the truth. You oh, I care about, care about the truth. Enough. That's why I tested it. So then, okay, okay. So then, if I say something and you know it's true, why are you trying to pretend? But you like haven't. Not? You've said a lot of things that aren't true, like. Um, no, we're Mugson talking about this merely, one thing, though. We're talking about this one thing. We're talking about this one thing. But we you, you, you said it can be explained by Max like Principle, not? whereas Einstein said it couldn't. So that's not true. No, no, no. He's, he's saying, he's saying, based on his estimation, that, that in theory, yes, but it doesn't based seem on like Max, it work. Based on Max Principle, it wouldn't work. Okay. But because Max Principle is a uniform rotating... Not a right. scientifically proven theory either way. It's just like but relativity. It's a philosophical relativity, well, relativity, thought experiment. Relativity has experiments. That, relativity has experiments, and you and I are talking right now thanks which, to relativity. Which, oh, oh, which, which which experiments proved relativity? Again, well, science. That, there's no such thing as scientific. Right, right. Ross. Ross, you do understand that there's no such thing as scientific proof, right? I want to get this clear. Which which experiments? 
Okay. You, you do understand, so said, though, that uh, there's no such thing as scientific proof. proof. Listen, listen, mince words all you want. I get, you don't want to pull up an experiment? That's fine. I well, I've already, I've already said the experiment. The, 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 the Eddington movie. experiment Wait, of 1919. You want to talk about? You want to talk about what proof is? I, you, you do not, I, I, Ross, I I've already mentioned the experiment several times. Pull up an experiment or you don't have one. I've already mentioned the experiment several times. The you don't have the experiment then? You don't have it? But I could bring it up. You can bring it up. Anyone can bring up the Eddington experiment of 1919. The pound the replica experiment. Um, uh, on, experiments on, with um, uh, on, you, super colliders. Stay on the editing. Uh, stay on the editing. No, no, stay on. Uh, hold on. Stop. Stop. I'm talking. I, 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 right, you no. know you miss smoke. You're muted. Uh, I'm going to keep going and say a bunch of experiments for relativity. So uh, where did we get? Uh, Edison experiment 1919 and any experiments. Since you're muted. No one can hear you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. You can talk when I let you. Right, so Edison experiment 1919 and other similar experiments, pound replica experiment, uh, experiments in super colliders, um, experiments with satellites and GPS. These all show that relativity is a thing. Atomic clock experiments show that relativity is a thing. It is an experimentally verified fact of reality. Um, now you can ask questions. We're running for your lives. I, I, if I was you, I would have I ran from that shit too, boy. You already knew. So you really, Did you, you listen to anything, anything I said? Any, are you standing on Eddington? Did you listen to anything that I said? Are you, you said I could ask you a question. Are you standing on Eddington? Uh, no, I'm sitting down. Oh, so you're, you're admitting that you misspoke when you said that Eddington was an experiment that proved relativity. Oh my well, I never God. Said it. I never said it proved right relativity. Clip I never said that. It. I said, what's experiments? That's the first thing you said. Yeah, I never said it proved relativity because there's no such thing as scientific proof. I said it's evidence of relativity. So Eddington wasn't a fraud. No, absolutely not. To throwing, he didn't admit to throwing out data that no, didn't he didn't follow what is. No, he didn't. Uh, my, mine oh, shot. Should, uh, should we bet on that? Shall we yeah. bet on that? Let's yeah. bet. Bet, 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 bet. I took yeah, a Fred no. Flintstone. Bet, 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 bet. You want to bet right. on that one too? Uh, do I have to Would mute you? Like you, to or bet? you? Don't right, no. I, you've been muted, so um, I get to talk. No, you're muted. No one can hear you. Nobody can hear you. Once you stopped, uh, no, nobody can hear you. You're muted. Nobody can hear you. There's no point talking. No, no, you're still going. You need to listen. Once you stop making noises, I will talk. Are you finished? You're mute. Nobody can hear you, dude. Nobody can hear you. Right. Okay. No. Stop talking. Shh. Shh. It's. No, once you stop talking, I'll, I'll... There we go. No, he's going again. Nobody, nobody can hear anything you're saying. Once you allow me to talk, um, I, I will unmute you. All right, I'm going to unmute you, and I'm going to talk, and I'm going to hope that you give me respect to allow me to talk. All right. So no, Eddington did not throw away data. Eddington was not a fraud. All that comes from a um, paper written by somebody who's got a degree in philosophy that just didn't like Eddington and said a bunch of things that were not true. Eddington was not a fraud. He didn't throw away data. Um, that's all just nonsense. So anyway, over to you. Are, are we betting on that? Are you, are you going to put your money where your mouth is or are you scared on that one? 5,000 uh, Bitcoin. 5,000 Bitcoin? Yeah. You have 5,000 Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? You don't have 5,000 Bitcoin, buddy. How do you don't, know? Don't, don't ask that me. Don't ask that me. How do you know? Because if you did, oh, oh I, I guess you're right. So you're going to bet me for real 5,000 Bitcoin, not ask Well, how me. much money have you got? Was it? How much huh? in your savings? How much in your savings right now? How? I would never tell you that or anybody. No, give I mean, me a ballpark no. figure. How much money you got? I got. How about this? I got ten thousand cash here. Is that it? Can That's we not go higher? Cash right now. Can we not go no, higher? Don't worry about what I got. Hey, don't worry about what I got. I might have a billion. Ain't nobody gonna know. But what's the maximum you can go to? Listen, listen. Let's do, let's do ten thousand. That's what I got. Ten thousand. So the, ten ten k is the maximum you can go to. Experiment. Ten ten k or ten ten k dollars or ten k pounds. Huh? Ten thousand dollars or ten thousand pounds. Whatever. It don't matter. 10,000 gold press latinum? I don't, I don't, you, I don't know. Wait, say that again. That 10,000 gold press latinum, we, we deal for that. I yeah. Cool. Yeah, 10,000 gold press latinum. The, um, uh, 
Edmonton was not a fraud and did not throw away data. Uh, okay, so where's your, evidence that, uh, where's your evidence that yes, Edmonton I'll, threw away data? I'll take, that, I'll, take the bet first. I'll take the bet first. Yeah, so we're betting on 10,000 gold press latinum. Wonderful. Um, so, gold uh, press latinum? What, what, what is that? I don't know what you're saying. You keep changing the word from dollars to pounds. Are you, are you scared? Are you trying to run? No, no. Why, it's, why we're we're, we're, we're betting 10,000 gold press latinum. You don't want to address what I'm saying. Yeah, we're betting 10,000 gold press latinum. Um, and gold press latinum? What, what is that? What is it? What is that? It's latinum pressed in gold. Latinum pressed yeah. gold? I don't, I don't, I don't know. This oh, two thousand pounds. Well, it's well, it's all right. We can, we can sort out the exchange and everything uh, a bit later. Anyway, so where's your evidence that anything threw away the data? So, 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 no, no, so, no I'm, a, I'm gonna get the evidence and bring it to you for real offline. So, well, I can no, get sure. my money for Pull real. it up. So, but are we, betting, up. For, are we betting for real or Pull no? Pull it up. Are we betting for real or no? Pull it up. Uh, so, are we betting? Pull or it up. No? Pull it up, man. Up if we're gonna bet. Ten thousand gold press latinum. I don't want to pull it up. I want you to bet me. Yeah, I'm betting you ten thousand gold press latinum. All right, and you're not, and not an ass bet. No, 10,000 bars of gold pressed latinum. 10,000 bars? What, yeah. What the fuck? 10, I've, got, I've got a guy. I'm, I can 10, speak to Quark and get, get it sorted, so we don't have to worry about that. But um, let, bring up your evidence. Look, man, look, look, look. Pull I, it up. You seem a little bit nervous because you're not sure, so I'm going to just let you out on that one. You already got you on the Pull up your evidence. Be, pull up your so evidence that, that, that the end was like, a fraud. I don't, I don't know. Like, all right, look. Pull it up, man. Pull it up. Come on. Pull it up. 10 grand. Because cause, cause now this is live on your oh, channel. Oh, are you chickening out with 10,000 gold press latinum? Your own audience is going to have to see you oh. bet me 10 grand and then not pay me when I see he, the he's, money. He's, so I will stall you out on that. You he's, don't have he's, to bet he's me. He's chickening out of the bet of 10,000, guys. He's betting it out. Yeah, I know Quark's good for it. He's got me sorted. Um, anyway, right, let's, see, let's I, pull I it up. I just know, pull it up then. I, Come on. I just know $10,000, dog. $10,000. That's all you got to say. 10,000 pounds, whatever. Pull it up, Ross. And I'll send you the information offline. No, no, no. I want to know 10,000 to see it online. 10,000 to see it online what? right now. Pull it up. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Just say you're scared. That's all you got to say. All right. No, I'm betting you right now, live here in front of this, 600 people watching. We're having a debate. I'm not going to look through none of, pull my it up. None of that. I'm pull it having up. a debate with you. Pull it up. Uh, no, everybody can go do their own research. Oh, and, that, that is such a flurf line. Pull it up or you've got nothing. Pull it up hey, or concede hey, you got hey, nothing. Hey, listen, listen, look, look, look at me. <coughs> look at me. I don't give a fuck because I'm gonna be honest with you. The Eddington quote unquote experiment is not an experiment at all. It's yeah, it's just is. an observation. Uh, you never know, heard of observational not, science? They did not manipulate any variables in between here and the sky. <clears throat> they did not manipulate the medium. They did not. They did not. Uh, hey, hey, Ross. Right. Do you that know what observational is science fucked. is? Even even if he didn't throw out any uh, any any data, or you or you thought you were off the hook, you thought you were off the hook. No, you're not. That's not even an experiment. That's an it is an experiment. Hey, you ever you heard, heard of that. observational science, even Ross? McToon not, even McToon is not dumb enough to say that with me. Did you not Who understand that, that when I asked him? Ross, do you not understand that observational science is a thing? It's not an experiment. Yeah, but Stop do you not understand? Words. Do you not understand? We still use the English language do you not understand that This is America. Hey, this is America. Do you not we still understand? Use the English language Ross, properly, okay? No, okay, right. You're not letting me talk, so you get muted while I talk. Uh, if I get two words out and you keep interrupting me, I'm just going to mute you because I've got that power and you can suck it. Um, so, uh, observations in science can count as an experiment when they're set up to gather data in a particular way. If you want to talk about it in the cases of IV and DV, that is very simple. The independent variable would be the distance away from the sun that the star is. The dependent variable would be the amount of difference from its actual location. There we go, done. Anyway, uh, I'll unmute you now. So you're not up for that 10k bet then? Because I'm totally up for it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not. So pull it up, man. Right pull now. it up right now. 10k on the line right now. Bet me, no, bet me, and I'll bring it up off yeah, offline. No, I want it now That's online simple. in front of people. Oh, so you're scared of off? You're scared of, of of offline? Why? What's the difference? Oh no, I'm scared of offline. I want it now in front of people watching. Right. Oh, I'll, I'll come back on stream and bring it to you. What? Do it now. Just get it, man. Just go and search. You said it's easy you to don't find. Want me to have, uh, you don't want me to, to have a, enough time to do real research? I, no, I just want, I just want your evidence of uh, Edmonton throwing away data. I will, but you don't want me to go do real research? Is that why you're trying to get me to do it right now? Uh, you have you not got the evidence? Are you, is it something that you've seen I, and just I have heard, to, or I, I, of course? But I, I would have to go research like a real man should. And then guess what? Pull and then guess what? Because 10K Pull is up. on it, I'm going to cross-reference. I tell you and what, find a whole bunch of 
the different sources so that way you can't deny it and get out of my 10 goddamn K. So you don't want to do the research or what? Let me go do the research if you're not scared. Okay, uh, tell you what, I'll give you five minutes. Go and do the research and I'll read some super chats, okay? that. You're the type right. of person that you're the type of person that does five minutes of research. I read for real. I go to lectures for real. I study uh, for real. This I mean, no if, it's, if it takes you ten minutes, minutes to read something, it takes me five minutes. About. That's kind of your you fault. You do that type but, uh, of bullshit. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you ten minutes. Go and find the evidence of. Yeah, the, yeah, no. You do ten minutes research. I research for hours and days, like a real well, I mean, scholar should. If it, if it takes you that scholar. long, not like you guys over there. If like it takes you that long to do simple research, that's kind of your fault. You sound scared. You sound scared to get the evidence. What? You don't want to give me more than 10 minutes of research? Okay, I'll give you 15. I'm betting you the way. Hey, listen, listen. If it's not out there, oh, why should the time matter? Pull it up, man. Pull it up. All right. You, hey, I will. Pull it up, man. Pull it up. We, we, Where is it? Second, we have a second debate scheduled, right? Don't we have a second debate scheduled already? There you go. Second debate. There it is. You scared of more time? You scared time is going to cost you 10K? What? No. no um, so you haven't got the evidence, right? Right, right, right. Hey, you're not slick, boy. We know what it is. That's right. He don't want me to, to get more than 10 minutes to research it because he knows an hour of research it will bury him. He got to pay me 10K or look like a fool in front of you guys. All right. I'm glad I got to do that today. This was this was this was worth my time. You guys all got to see it. Uh, He's not so, willing to bet 10K. Right. right. Let me go do some real research to prove his ass wrong. You know why? Because you don't want to lose that 10K. If you had 3000 Bitcoin, you wouldn't give a fuck about that 10K. That's how I know. OK. Oh, look, 3000 Bitcoin. That's crazy. I'll tell you what. Let's make it 20k for the next debate then, all right? Huh? 20K. Let's make it 20k, 20,000 20 for yeah. the next debate. Absolutely. Hmm. So the claim that Sir Arthur Eddington threw away data during the famous 1919 expedition to test Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity refers to historical controversy over the interpretation and selection of data obtained during the solar eclipse of May 29th, 1919. Eddington's expedition aimed to observe the bending of starlight around the sun, a prediction of general relativity by photographing stars near the sun during an eclipse when the sun's light would not overwhelm the starlight. Eddington organized two expeditions to observe the eclipse from Sobral, Brazil, and Principal, uh, an island off the west coast of Africa. The expeditions sought to measure the positions of stars near the sun during the eclipse and compare these positions to their known positions in the sky when the sun was elsewhere. According to general relativity, the gravity of the sun would bend the light from the stars as it passed close to the sun, causing an apparent shift in the position of the stars. After the expeditions, a Edding... fallacy. Not reification on an observation. fallacy. That's a prediction. It is on an a observation pre too. A prediction isn't a reification fallacy. Anyway, um, after the expedition, uh, Edding Eddington analyzed the... Uh, anyway, I'm talking. Do I have to meet you? Um, after the expedition, Eddington analyzed the photographic plates during the, taken during the eclipse. The results from Solbauer and Principal <laughs> seemed to confirm Einstein's predictions, showing a deflection of starlight by the sun. However, there was some controversy over the data, particularly concerning the reliability of the measurements taken with different telescopes. Some of the Solbauer plates taken with a certain telescope showed a larger deflection than predicted by Einstein, while others taken with another telescope were more in line with Einstein's predictions. Edison and his colleague, Frank, Frank Watson Dyson, decided to give more weight to the data they believed to be more reliable, which were the results more closely aligned with Einstein's principles, uh, Einstein's predictions. This decision has been interpreted by can, some... Can you read that part over again? Right. Can you read the part over? I yeah. that last part. Can you read that part over? Eddington and his I was, colleague... I wasn't listening, my bad. Eddington and his colleague, Frank Watson Dyson, decided to give more weight to the data that they believed to be more reliable, which were the results more closely aligned with Einstein's predictions. This decision has been interpreted by some as throwing away data that did not fit the expected outcome. Okay, so what does it mean to give more weight to some data? They, they assumed that that was the correct one and then did more experiments to check. Well, what do you... You mean that they should all be correct because they're all data. Well, so what do you mean assume? Because that sounds like throwing out data in a nicer way. No. Well, what they did was they had conflicting data uh, and they looked at the conflicting oh, data. Oh, wow. Do you want me to finish my sentence? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did we so, bet officially uh, or no? Right, I, I've muted you because I was in the middle of saying a thing, right? So what they had was some conflicting data. They looked at that conflicting data and went, hmm, that doesn't seem to align with the predictions. Let's do some more tests and check. That's what they did, because maybe one of the experiments was flawed. Maybe there was some issue with some of the equipment. So they looked at the data, gave more weight to the one that aligned with the predictions, and did more experiments to check, which is a typical thing to do in science. You're now unmuted. I know I'm not. This is insane. You are correct. This is fucking insane. So um, 
20k because they didn't throw away anything. So, so we did take the bet, right? I mean, even though you like, yeah, just we, read we, it, admitted we it. definitely took the bet. You're, you're, the, the, the bet. you're either admitting that you're an ass the, better, there's, right? there's, or that you're just like gonna lie, or or that you actually only have half a brain or something. No, no, I've I taken said, the bet. The, they, the bet was the more they, data. You said they emphasize more data, and then you went on to say that some of the data contradicted. Yeah, they had conflicting the data. Didn't no, I didn't. I said conflicting. Didn't you use the word no, I said they had conflicting data from oh, different conflicting experiments. Data. Yes. Conflicting. Conflicting so, data. So all the data did not fit the observation, but they assumed that it Yeah, and then they did more tests to check. That's yeah. The same thing as throwing out data. No, it's not. You're not honest. They did more today. tests what are you again. About? They Who did put it up. No, no, if you're not going to let me get two words out, I will mute you again. Um, right? Again. I don't give they, a damn. They again. I don't give they a no. Fuck, nigga. They did more tests shit. to check. They didn't just go. Oh well, we're going to go with that and leave it. They did more tests to check, to make sure. Does that make sense? Because that's what happens sometimes in science when you do an experiment. And, and you're saying you, the next time. Uh, uh, I'm still. And and I'm and saying words. I'm still. No, I'm still saying your words. Your story is. Your right. You're muted because I was literally saying words. Right. Sometimes in science. You can do experiments and get conflicting data, right? So what you need to do is check your experiments are set up and redo the experiments. Because maybe one of the experiments wasn't set up correctly. You're unmuted. Has he quit? Did he rage quit because he didn't know how conversations work? You there? Yes, sir. Right. Did, Sorry did about you hear? that. I had to. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You heard what I said, yeah. No, uh, no, my bad. I had to hurry up and go live on my channel since you are obviously <laughs> trying to pigeonhole me and having an unfair debate. I had to make sure my people over here can. You know, well, no, I just want to be able to speak capacity. as well. That, so it don't all. actually look like you're winning when you're getting bodied in reality. In well, reality I just want, I just want to make sure like that they can hear me first. instead of you. So, did you understand what I said? Huh? In sometimes in science. You can do multiple experiments and get conflicting data. So what do you do in that case? Cool. You look at the experiments, you check that they're correct, and you redo the experiments to check. And then you compare the data, right? Now, if Eddington had done extra mm. experiments and then got more results that matched the one that didn't match Einstein's predictions, then they would have probably gone with that one. But when they did more experiments, the data matched Einstein's predictions. And what that indicated was... And what that indicated was, sure that uh, uh, um, and what that indicated was that one of the experiments done in initially was flawed, wasn't done properly somehow. So they redid it to check. Nothing was right. thrown so, away how, how, how did, ever. So, 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 what was the name of that second experiment? <laughs> Just when more experiments by Eddington, and then got didn't get any conflicting data the second time. But the Eddington type experiment has been done many, many, many times. It's it's uh, it's so just did called. Did Eddington um, uh, do it and say this next done, time we did it, we didn't get any conflicting data? Did he do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. When they checked, they didn't get any conflicting data. Eddington said that. Yeah. So really. Um. So I just want to clarify the bet. Up? The bet was. Or, 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 I guess I can research. I can no, I'm, I'm still. I'm so saying words. Then, I am but, saying but words. That's, that's I am. I'm saying words. Words are coming out of my mouth at this time. And mine too. You're not the only person here. But you think your I, words have more I, weight over mine? I don't yeah. give a shit. Well, I, I was saying talking? something I'm and you interrupted it. me. Forget right, okay, the fuck so, if you talking. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, give a damn. Um, as as I was what saying, these niggas be thinking uh, because uh, they're talking. I gotta shut up. Uh, Hell no. As, That's not as how this I, works. As I was, Maybe in Britain. As I was saying, here. as I was saying before you threw a toddler tantrum like a child. Um. Right, it's gonna, hey, look, it's gonna yeah. happen every time that you try to interrupt the, me and pretend like you're not. Uh, well, yeah, when you, you know, interrupt I, I, me, I've been nice because I'm on your platform, but now I'm streaming on my shit. So now I'm on my shit. I'm so everyone on your shit can see you act like a toddler as well. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. So okay, and anyway, I, and I can do that. I can do that, right? Anyway, I can do that. So you, I want to clarify. You, but you just anyway, act like, you just, you just uh, act like, like, like a sophisticated. I, like, I've been trying to get two words out for like a minute, but he, he won't let me uh, because he's scared to hear what I've got to say. Obviously, right? Anyway, so the bet. Let me clarify, um, for $20,000 was that Eddington threw away data. He didn't. He just gave more weight to one bit of data than the other. He didn't throw away anything. 
So when can I expect that 20K? Yeah, no one can hear you. You've muted yourself. Do you know you've muted yourself? Do you realize this? Why, why, have you, why have you muted yourself? I'm asking him to unmute. You see me clicking the ask to unmute button, right? Yeah, see, but I, I got to let you know, right, that I don't care that much. Like, yeah, okay. if we could have a good conversation, then all right. But if you're going to interrupt me, then what the fuck is the point of me trying to have a good conversation with you? There well, is no point. So I just you do keep the, interrupting I me. I do to you what you're doing to me. And I'm going to do it infinitely better. All right, you, nobody's you gonna keep, do this you're the one that keeps nobody's interrupting me. I told you the rules at the beginning, dude. I don't give a fuck. I told you the rules at the beginning, right? Anyway, um, so yeah. So can I can I can I can I finish what I'm saying? Can I can I finish what I'm saying? Can I finish what I'm saying? Can I finish what I'm saying? Thank you. So um, no no one can hear you. No no one can hear you. Your your two people watching don't care. Oh, Research Cube Earth became a new member. Thank you, my, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, can I talk now? Is that okay? Maybe. Maybe if, 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 I, if the king decides you can talk, then maybe. Yeah, the king gave me permission to talk. That's fine. So anyway. I'm the, um, I'm the anyway, king so Ed Eddington had, did, redid the experiment um, in 1922. So yeah, he definitely checked. Um, but anyway, um, so the, the bet, just to clarify was the Eddington threw away data and that was for $20,000, right? Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. confirmed it. So when, yeah. when, when can I, I expect my 20,000? Ask you, what does emphasize other data means? You said that they figured that that one data must be an anomaly. That's yeah, they didn't nice throw away throw anything. I know you're not an honest man, obviously, so you're not gonna, but no, no. They, they didn't throw away they anything, they research. checked. But there's other research too. But you're but, obviously showing you're not honest, so whatever. But um, your again, they, they checked. You owe me 20 grand, and you, you're still going to owe me 150. Wait, how do I owe you 20? Because they checked. They didn't, just throw, they didn't just throw away the data. They checked by doing more experiments. No, no. Well, they, they, don't, they threw the data away because you said that they assumed mm -hmm. the data was an anomaly. That's the same thing as throwing it away. No, uh, yeah, but they checked to make sure. They can, make, they can the assume all they want. There's know. nothing wrong with making an assumption, but they checked is the important point. They didn't just throw it but, away. They didn't just dismiss no. it. They checked. But they did throw it away, though. No, but they did dismiss it, though, right? No, they didn't. They, didn't they checked. It, but they did. Eventually, no, they checked. Right? Ross, did they, did they or did they not check in the 1922 expedition? Did they or did they not eventually throw away the data? No. They checked. No, they didn't say that it was an anomaly, and they, they disregard it. They no, they checked if it was right or not. They didn't just throw it away. How did they check if it was right or not? It was an by repeating the experiment. Okay, but there could have been a whole bunch of different conditions and a whole bunch of other variables that would have made them not get that. That don't mean you throw away the data. That they don't didn't mean you throw, throw away, away the data. The data. They checked. That they threw away the data. You're either they too dumb to get it, or you're a liar. The data wasn't thrown away. The data is there. Everyone can see the data that they gathered. Then they did more they experiments didn't, to they check. Didn't it. They, didn't, they, they still don't regard it as fact or, or, or conflicting to their experiment. They think their experiment is true when there was conflicting data. So that, if you're not what, that one time, conflicting data, you're that throwing one it time. out. No, they're not. They didn't throw it out. They checked and they have con we've continued to check as humanity. Dude, that is the only an one time. Is the same thing that is the out. one time that they got that conflicting data. That is the one time. It wasn't thrown out, it was checked and found to be an outlier. That isn't throwing out. It is still included it in the results. How was it found to be an outlier? How? Because all, it was found to be an outlier because every other time the experiment is done, they get different results. Therefore, that one result was an outlier. Even if that was true, right? Which it's not, right? No, that doesn't mean that. Because you still have to take in environmental conditions, the time of the day, the day yeah, that of the was year. All, taken all into that account. matters when you're doing experiments outside, especially optically, right? Because of what? Oh, uh, refraction. Why are you ignoring refraction? I'm not. You don't, you, know you don't think that, that they took astronomical? Because we can't use your favorite word, Euclidean geometry. It does not work at, at, at far distances. What? 
So none of that they, even matters. They, they really did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And hold on. It was phony. Ross, hold it was on. 20 grand. Hold on, Ross. They, they did take astronomical refraction into account and they did take into account the time of day and everything that they did the experiment on. They never, ever, ever threw out the data. Let's be clear. The data is still included in the data sets. It is still there. It was never thrown out. Which is the same thing. Let me, let me ask you a question. Do you play poker? Do you play yeah, poker? pretty well. I can, I can tell by the way you tried to raise me on that. So when am I going to get my 20K? Right now. I'm like, please, you owe me 20K. You ready? But they didn't, you they didn't throw it out. I said I had 10. You are not slick. I know a poker they, player when I see one. They didn't like, throw it out, though. Did. It's still Dude, there. 20, he'll, he'll, he'll back out with 20. You are not slick. I caught that. Dude. They didn't throw it out. The data is still there. And I, it was and I, and never I, I thrown out. Okay, from you in a way that you can't try to finagle out of it, dude. The data was not thrown out. The you, bet was was the data the thrown thing. out. No, they checked Listen, to see if it's an outlier it or not. That is not the same as throwing out. If you threw it out, it wouldn't even be included in the data I'm, sets. I, I, I'll it is still I'm included language. in the I'll data sets. It is still included I'll in the why. data sets. It right, Ross. It is still included in the data sets. It was never thrown out. It was found to be an outlier from preceding experiments. Okay, so if they did an experiment and there was conflicting data, that experiment should, the whole experiment should be thrown out. You shouldn't even mention it. You know why they mentioned it? Because they say that the, the conflicting data was anomalous. So they, they make it relevant by throwing out the anomalous data. They didn't a throw five year old can understand what I said. You either think I'm dumb or you do not understand that. You right? are dumb. So if, That's if, if very they didn't true. throw it out, then they would have said that experiment is basically null. There's no result that came the, from that because there was they conflicting did, data. That would be the result. Checked. If they didn't throw their data out, but they threw it out. You owe me 20 grand. They checked. They did more experiments to How check. Did they check. How do they know it was an anomaly? How do By they doing know? more they experiments. Can't go back to the day that they did Every it. single if, experiment. If it's an anomaly, they just know that they recorded that data. Ross, every single time that they redo the experiment, they get the other even result. Even if that was true, which is It not, is true. It is. Even if it was true. All right, I bet you 100K that that's true. Even if it was, though. 100K that, that is true. About the first experiment. 100,000 that huh? is true. What? I bet you $100,000 that is true. That was true. That they, they did a, 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 every experiment ever since then for the Eddington Dude, has you shown the other result. The first 20. Why would I keep doing this with you? You, but you owe me the 20 20. because they never throw anything away. No, you, you're an ass better. All right, you're an ass better. That's why I got to play you. You're backing out on the bet. Change. They didn't throw anything away because the data is still included in the data set. Dude, 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 dude. If I say this is what you're doing. Everybody in my audience listening, right? Not the haters, but you know. Well, the three people that you got. This is what he's saying. He's like, what he's saying. He's like, he's like, they didn't throw it away. They just put it in the trash bin. No, they what didn't. They kept it in the data set. Slick. It's not in the trash bin. It's in the data set. It's still included they, in they the results. It away. They just put it over there. And we're just acting like it's not there. It's Same No, thing. they checked to see if they ver they tried to no, verify listen, the data. That because that's what you do in science. Be, just, should be just thrown so out you, are, you saying, are you saying that whenever you get conflicting data in science, you just throw it all out and just ignore it? You don't check. Is that what you're saying? You, you should start over with your hypothesis, yes. You start should completely over. You should start, start completely over. over. You shouldn't check if your experiment was done yeah. correctly. Huh? Are you, are you sure you shouldn't maybe check if your experiment was done correctly? Well, if it's a true experiment, then yes. But that was an observation we're talking about. Yeah, observational experimentation is a thing. It's not a real experiment. Observational experimentation is a thing because observational science is no, a thing, not, part of the scientific, scientific method. Experiment? No, it's not. Absolutely, is according to the scientific method. No, you're lying. You're, you're lying or you don't know. I get it. You're not informed. Hey, hey, let, let me ask you a quick question about the scientific it. method, right? How many versions of the scientific method are there? Just one, buddy. <laughs> you better, are though. scientifically <laughs> illiterate. Okay. You know the scientific method changes the, based on the industry or the branch of science, who told you that? Right? right? Based on who? Who told you that? Science. Science? Scientists. Who is science? Scientists. Science? So what, every scientist I've scientist ever worked with, with, every single scientist I've ever to? worked with. That you've ever worked, name one. Name, name your authority that you're pulling to. So I can Andrew Thomas Young. Huh? Andrew Thomas Young. 
All right, so you're appealing to the authority um, of Andrew Thomas Young? Rutherford. Um, uh, Rutherford, the n- yeah, nuclear so you're, engineer. You're appealing to the, uh, to the authority to, of Andrew Thomas Young, right? That's No, it's not appealing to authority. That's just what it is. It's a fact. You asked me who, and I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, you're um, appealing to his authority, right? So all of science says that there are multiple versions of the scientific are, method. Are you not appealing to his authority or what? Who's all of science? You said Andrew Young. So yeah, that's your um, God? That's your priest? Well, no, he's just he's just one person that uh, has done right, things right. in the different scientific right, method. Right, and, and, Andrew no, Thomas Young is the right, world's leading fine. expert. Right, hold on, no, let me talk. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's fine. Andrew Thomas Young no, 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 is the world's let me, let me leading expert. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Andrew Thomas Young is the world's leading talking, expert in refraction. I, I don't, yeah. I'm not interested in what I, you're I'm saying. still I'm still in the middle of saying my thing. Andrew, look at him. Like he's scared to let me talk. He is terrified to let me talk. Look at him. He's terrified. He's scared. You're three people that are watching. <clears throat> Look at him. Throwing a little hissy fit to his two and a half people. I'm not throwing a hissy fit. A lot of your audience will be actually uh, trying to get attention from me. I'm not throwing a hissy fit, bro. I just don't like what you're you literally throwing a hissy fit. It's pointless. Yeah, well, you know, if you're going to interrupt me when I'm in the saying things, then, you know, that's well, going to happen. Anyway, it's because I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I'm on your platform to be nice. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go back to what I was saying. Anyway, Ross, let me go back to what I was saying. Ross, if I could go back to what I was saying, thank you. Andrew Thomas Young is the world's leading expert in refraction. Rutherford was one of the creators of nuclear science as we know it. Um, they right, so you're or they, the authority. That's what they, they would both say that there are different versions of the scientific method. The scientists in Who's my chat, them? the people with PhDs that work with gravity, that work with all kinds of physics, oh, um, gravity. Per- personal friends of mine that have PhDs uh, in, in biology, they all say that there are what different are versions of the scientific method. So every scientist and every physicist that I know in the world, which is a lot, say that there are more than one versions of the scientific method. Why do you think you know more about well, science than well, them? Well, I, I don't appeal to anybody's authority. I don't think I know more about science than them. As a matter of fact, but I've you, been, you do. You know, you kind do. of appealing to their authority on my own this whole night by appealing to the fact that they all believe we don't know the Earth is moving. We don't know that... That the that the Earth is is not the center of the cosmos, right? Oh, we, we do know really that. Really, don't know what the shape of the Earth is. That's why we're having this conversation. They all admit they don't know shit. No, they don't. Are you Every wrong? single scientist that, that I know says the opposite. Really? So, yeah. so are there any scientists at all that say that dark matter has been debunked? Oops. Dark matter is just a hypothesis. Oh, so you, you you admit that dark matter is not real science? I applaud you for that. What? No, we we it's it's, you're saying theory. it's not real Whoa, science. If you want to talk that. about scientific method, we're only at the second stage hypothesis. We haven't done the rest yet. We're still getting there. Great. So we all agree that dark matter is not a valid scientific theory. It's so a hypothesis. Why? No one no one said it's a, like a, it a scientific theory. It's a hypothesis. That's it. No one said hey, it's man, anything we're, we're more than that. Agree. But but I don't I don't like when people try to pretend like it's set in stone. Dark, well, no, dark nobody matter has does. To be there or else no one says Einstein's that. Science theory of gravity doesn't really fall in place. No one so says that it's set in stone. Cars that are falling apart right there. But no one says that it's that. set in stone. No one says that. No one says what? That black the, the dark matter is set in stone. Everyone knows it's just a hypothesis. So so how how did they explain the 1933 Fritz Wicke observations? I'm not sure. You're not sure. No, I'd have to look that up. You should be more informed. You should be more informed on 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 the subject. on everything ever. Yeah, sure. You didn't know the boiling point of water yesterday. Shut the fuck up. I said a hundred right away. What are you talking about? No, you didn't. Is that it or not it? No, you said I don't know several times. I was the one that said a hundred. If you want, do you want to? See I asked, I I asked you and Dustin you several times right what, the, 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 what the what um, the temperatures of water that? boiling was, and you said I don't know. Okay, so anyway. And then um, I may have just said, I'm pretty sure it's 100. And I said, I'm pretty sure it's 100. No, you yeah, said you don't know. I said know. yesterday. I remember. I was you, there. You, no, it, I had to explain what the boiling point right, of water me, was to you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Okay, all right. All right, well, j- just, just to be clear, right? Like I said, I'm on the side of science, right? 
You're the science denier. Right? No, I'm not. All science. Uh, right, no, stop right there. Shows us the uh, Earth is not moving. Except the scientific, scientific experiments that I've shown you. Interrupt you. you. But you see why you do see why. You're I'm lying talking. right now. I know you get it. I, I just want the audience. I want your audience to understand. Craig is not as sensitive as you guys. You know he doesn't care about me interrupting him that much. You guys are the only one that cares this much. Why? Why are you because lying though? Sensitive as hell. And he All scientists say that they know the Earth rotates. Why are you lying about that? Craig loves this. Why are you lying about what scientists say? Yelling and interrupting each other. Some why? Person. Why are you lying about what the scientists say though? Because scientists say that the Earth rotates. All current science agrees that the Earth no, they rotates. No, yeah, they, they do. All current no. science agrees that the Earth rotates. No, they no, they do not. One hundred percent. No, every single liar. every single scientist that I know, every single one of them, including all the scientists that work at CERN. All the scientists that work at CERN, all those PhD scientists, they all say the Earth rotates. Okay, so... Every single scientist in the world money, right? says but that the Earth rotates. Okay. There's not a single sorry, scientist sorry, sorry. that would say the Earth you're, you're is stationary. Saying that. You're saying that. You're saying that. Cool, cool. This is Albert Mickelson. Quote, this conclusion directly contradicts the explanation which presupposes, presupposes, assumes, presupposes. We're not I thought sure. you said current science. Moves. The conclusion of his experiment directly contradicts. You think I'm quote mining? Go look it up for yourself. But why? You, but you said you said current up. science. Here's another one. Here, here's Henry Punker A. What? Henry yeah. Punker A. a why? You said a current great science. Deal of research has been carried out concerning the influence of the Earth's movement. The results were always, always, always negative. Yeah, in relation to the aether, because there's no aether. But again, you said current you science. That. No, no, that's not what this says. This says a great deal of research has been carried yeah, out. Yeah, read the, the actual paper. The it's about movement, the aether. Period. Period. Re the Earth's movement. Period. N nice growth. cherry picking. Um, ni nice period. cherry picking, Ross. End quote. End right. quote. Okay, okay, nice cherry picking that's because that entire paper is about... Right, that Ross, can I, can I talk now? Ross, can I talk now? Can I talk now? Hold on, one more time. No, can I can I talk now? This Wolfgang Pauli. Can I talk now? Ross, Quote, can, can, I, can I talk now? Is it my turn? To measure, to Ross, is it, is it my turn to talk, Ross? Of the Earth motion. Can, I, can I talk? Are you just going to cry like a little baby you some more? That all are you, are you, you just going to cry like a little baby some more? Agree with you. Are you going to cry like a little baby? They don't. Are you going to cry like a little baby or am I allowed to talk? Is that it? Can I talk? In a second. No, no, are you going to keep crying? Do not agree with you, are right? you going to keep so crying? Lying, are you going to keep crying? Are you going to keep crying? When you say all Are you going to keep crying? Oh, right. little baby, little baby Ross you know, is too scared to let me lying, talk. Right. Oh, little baby Ross is too scared That's to let fact. me talk. Stop little, lying. Ba little baby Ross is too scared to let me talk. Oh, what a shame. Hey, hey, that don't work oh. on me. I don't oh, get little, little scared hey, Ross won't let me talk. Oh, look at the little baby. Look at the little baby. Oh, look at his little baby. Oh, no. He's afraid to let me talk. Yeah. Um. So, uh, okay. hey, hey, say that all you want. Say that no, all you want. I, I got one word. Not, I got it, one it, word out. You know I got I one word before you interrupt me, Ross. One word. Maybe. Ross. Remember Ross, when you were doing that to me over there? Ross, I might do that to Ross, you for the next hour. Ross. Let me talk. <laughs> there we go. There's. There we go. Good child. So. Just so you uh, guys know. Uh, no. So uh, I, I got. I got two words out. I got two words. Come two words. And moderate two this. Two words. He refused two because he wanted words. this to happen. Right. Two words. Your audience. I want your audience to know that. Two words. Your audience. He I got refused two words to have out. a moderator because he look, wanted look at to him. do this. He is crying right now. He's too afraid to let me talk. He won't let me talk. I'm going to start talking and he's going to interrupt me because he's a little baby. Okay, so um, Mugs and Morley, the entire experiment was about the aether, not about Earth's movement. It was about the aether wind. That's, that experiment disproved the aether, not Earth's motion. The other paper was also about Earth's motion relative to the aether. So that's why it was null. The paper actually describes how it could be Earth's movement without an aether. You should probably read the whole thing instead of cherry picking. However, your claim was that current... Cherry picking, pull the whole quote up and show a contradiction. Uh, cherry picking means there's a contradiction. Guys, if didn't I say he would interrupt me? Up, didn't I make the prediction that he would interrupt me? I did. Look at the prediction coming seconds. true. It wasn't two seconds, though. No. Look at the yeah, prediction coming true. Yeah, but it wasn't two seconds. True. Here's a quote from your, your favorite guy, Arthur Eddington. There. Right, you're muted so I can finish what I'm saying. Right, Ross, nobody can hear you. Just let me finish what I'm saying. Ross, let me finish what I'm saying. I don't give a damn. Ross, just let me. Damn. Ross. Ross, let me finish what I'm saying, please. Go ahead, buddy. Right. Don't maybe, interrupt. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Ross. Ross. Maybe. Don't interrupt me. Let me finish what I'm maybe. saying. Don't interrupt me. 
If you are a child, if you are a child, you will interrupt me. All right? That's how this is working. If you are a child, you will interrupt me. Because you don't work on me, I'm a child. So you're a child. He he just he just agreed that he's a child. So I'm a child. And if if you are a horrific twat, you will interrupt me. So I, that doesn't work over here. We don't know what you twat agree that you're a horrific okay? twat. Wonderful. <laughs> we don't we so, don't use the word twat over here. Okay. Are, are you gonna let me talk, or are you gonna be a child? Which one is it? Uh, are you scared to hear me talk? Yeah. So um, I'm not cherry picking. Uh, I'm. Want, so, let's go to one no, minute segments. How three. About you think I'm scared? Three let's seconds. Go to one minute segments. Three seconds. No. Prove you're you not scared, scared by being quiet. Prove you're not square, scared by being quiet. Let's if you can't be quiet, and I'll be quiet. Give me right, one I'll, minute I'll, right, and I'll be quiet. I'll mute you. I'll mute you for one minute. All right? I'll, I'll mute, mute you. I don't give a damn. I'll, well, you just asked to go for one for one minute, so I'll mute you for one minute. Okay, but, but, okay, but when I so talk, you don't, you you don't, up, right, you don't talk for one minute. All right? But when I talk, are you going to shut up? You, don't, you just said one minute. You don't talk for one minute. But when okay? I talk, are you going right? to shut up? My one your minute. My now. one minute. My one minute starts now but are you are you gonna my, shut up when i talk hey so he interrupted my, my no? he interrupted my minute guys my minute right. started and not, he interrupted it not agreeing to not interrupt mine right so no. I'll, I'll try again my minute starts now okay so I'm um just joking that was just my way of joking with him guys so he interrupted me again do you see that my minute started and he instantly interrupted me before i even said a word right i don't i don't i don't so you, so you, let, let's let's try once more i, I have this let's try once goal. more my I'm minute of a billy goat, trust me. Let, let's try once more. My minute, without him interrupting me, my one minute starts now. Hello, puppet. Hello. If I talk in a British accent, that means that everything that's coming out of my mouth means it's correct. Hello, puppet. You are the one that asked for one minute segments, except you can't do it. Why is that? Because you're, you're not agreeing to it. You're not agreeing I've to agreed to it. Minutes. We'll say I will give you one minute when I'm I've done agreed it. to it. You agree to give me one minute? I've agreed to it. My minute you, starts. You see, like, my, I have agreed both, to you, it. Dude, wife, my minute wife, starts you, now. Your wife. Your wife. I know your wife probably wants to put ah, her house. I'm trying to argue Keep my wife's name out your mouth. You're, you are as almost as relentless as me. Uh, uh, I want right. to see you debate Vince. I don't know if Vince is in here. Vince, Vince if you're is scared watching, to debate you me. Need to debate, you need to He's debate scared to debate me. Anyway. Right. So let's try it again. This is your request. My one minute starts now. Okay, so I'm not the one that was cherry picking. That would be you by just quoting little segments. I'm talking about the entire papers, not just little quotes. The entire papers show that they are talking about movement of the earth relative to the aether, which was disproven. You said that all current science and all current physicists say that the earth doesn't rotate. And then you quoted scientists and physicists from over 100 years ago. No, all Current scientists and physicists say that the Earth rotates. You cannot find me one single scientist or physicist that is alive today that says that the Earth does not rotate. Okay, you can now have one minute, and I won't say anything. All right, are we? Okay, cool. All right, so hopefully you're willing to bet on that. I mean, like, but I like, but you're an ass better. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta watch those poker players. You know what I mean? That's why they play poker because they're card sharks. They like to get over on people, so they will bet with you. And if they win, they'll take the bet. But if they lose, hell no, they're not paying you that shit. I just want to say that, all right? Everybody knows, 15, all right? He literally read it 16. out loud and then tried to find a way to move around it. He's like, I know he's going to do that with all my other bets anyway, so who gives a shit, right? There's not one physicist, right? I've been reading all the physicists, you feel me? Like, that's ridiculous. Oh, there's not one physicist that's alive, all right? Oh, there's not one physicist that's alive? Okay, well, fine. So how about this? How in the hell did they figure it out back then? Because you're saying they knew for sure back then, right? All right. Well, how did they know back then? Because all the physics that I'm looking at right now from back then are saying that they never knew. And then when I ask you guys, how do you know now? His answer is, well, we've always known it. So that's why I'm, I'm pulling the floor from under you. Because your evidence is basically we've always known it. Oh, we there we go. It that's one minute. Said, Which experiment? You pulled up Eddington. You, you, you had a minute. You, you invoked Eddington. So yeah. Put up an Eddington quote. What are you talking about? You, that's what you invoke for your experiments. Yeah. So uh, Ed- Eddington says now? that the Earth rotates. The earth is moving. You don't have any. Ed- Eddington knows the Earth rotates, and well, he knew that the Earth rotates in the Earth's globe. 
I just re- I just read a quote. So pull up the whole thing then and see if I if I cherry picked it. Yeah, yeah. Eddington didn't say that the Earth doesn't rotate. Eddington knows the Earth rotates, and Eddington knows well, they, the Earth well, he, well, the point is we don't know. Nobody knows what the fuck well, is going on. But he, we do. He has that final answer. We've been to space and seen it, so it's fine. Uh, You've been to space. The, yeah. You've been to space. Humanity has. Well, yeah, I've been to space. Do you want to see? Yes, you, you. Holy shit! I might lose a debate now. You've been in space. Pull it up. It's me on the ISS. This is the sky. Wow, is this a Photoshop picture? No, that's me on the ISS. Oh, wow. Damn it. Why would you do this to me? What do you mean fake? That's me on the ISS. I'm valuable to say. Imagine that, guys. Who would have thought he was going to pull up a fake picture? What do you mean fake? He's being serious. But now we know. How is this fake? Nothing he says is serious. He never says anything serious. It's all jokes. I think Fight the Flat Earth is actually. In what way is this fake? I think he's secretly a flat earther and he does these horrible debates so that way he can prove that there's no evidence on the other side. How he just uh, goes around and around on, and around in circles, right? In what way is this fake? Pretend like he's a he's not a flat earther. You claim earther. this is fake. In what way is this he fake? He calls himself like the flat earth. This is a uh, this is a fake picture. How is it fake? Like, oh, that's hilarious. In what way I, is it I, fake? You know what? You are you are smarter than I thought you were. My bad. Look, I, think look, I can I can show it's real. You're right, you, look at his arm. Look at the arm. Right, and you see just by the elbow, there's a freckle there. Right, hmm. just there, same freckle. That's that's me in that picture. And in fact, that's me. That's one of my um, that's one of my t-shirts. That's my one of my merches that you can buy from my store. Ooh. I believe that's you. I believe that's you. Of course it is. So yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I believe that's you. Uh, it looks like you. I mean, you're hard to miss. But, but uh, humanity, obviously, that's not. I, I, it, it's a joke. I just want uh, to assure. But the point is, humanity assure... has been to space. All right? Okay, We've been I, there. Cool. We've checked. I, well, well, no, we haven't. But I, I just want to in, ensure all the flat earthers in the crowd listening. I, I figured Craig out. He's actually on our team. Yeah. He's no, I'm fucking so not. smart. He's playing 10 dimensional chess and poker over here. Right. Think about it. If somebody was so smart that they really believed in the flat earth, earth what would be the best way to get the message out, right? Pretend like you're not on the team and then debate against flat earthers really badly. Dude, I, I've, I've got Craig a playlist Engel. called um, interviews with ex flat you. earthers. Hey, I respect you, dog. I respect you for that. You're, 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 you're actually- Of course like, you're I, being I you stupid like normal. I'm like, this guy, cause he's, there's some mind games going on here that he's playing with me. I just don't know why he's playing them. And now I, now I understand because you're, you're secretly a flat earther and you're fighting the good fight. Of, of Craig course, is fighting of course, the good fight yeah, those guys. of course. We got we got exactly Craig is a general in the army, but he's undercover. He's a secret operative on the other team. I don't matter of fact, let me stop that because I don't want to blow you. Do you know how I? Do you know how I know I'm not a, a flat earther? I, is, I, I, I is, you, Craig. Do you know how? Do you know how I, I know I'm not a flat earther, you, Ross? Ross, do you know how I know I'm not a flat earther? It's because I don't have brain damage. Oh, you have, you got some type of brain damage. Come on now. No. You said you've been in twelve accidents. You got a broken legs, knees, something. Come on I, now. I have had brain surgery. That that is true, but that was on my inner ear. So, but that's irrelevant. See, like I said, we're gonna stall Craig out. All right. So Craig anyway, fight um, good fight, right? when am I getting my twenty k? Because they never throw any date out. Or are you are you with are you reneging on your bet? Like, like I said, I'm gonna stall you out. You know what I mean? I know are you reneging like, look, on your bet? Fighting the good fight. You know what I mean? Even are, with a little you... bit of brain issues going on, right. you feel me? But look. Okay, anyway, right. Let you slide on the- All right, Ross, right. It, it, right. Let's, 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 um, let's stop this for now because uh, I, it's, I literally haven't slept for like two days, so I'm going to go to bed, right? But what I want you to do for me, Ross, is your friend, this communications expert, um, I, I wanna, yes. I'd like you to you know, introduce me to him on Discord or whatever. I want to chat with him before yeah. he gets to moderate on my channel, okay? He, he's, he, yeah, he said he'd be more than happy to do that, of course. Right, so put me in contact with him, um, and if you want a moderated debate, um, then I will allow that, but obviously I will decide the moderator because it's my channel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I would suggest looking up the yeah, different yeah. methods. I would. I would suggest in the meantime looking up the different versions of the scientific method and why that's important to the conversation. I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe that appeal to authority, Craig. All right. I uh, it's not an appeal to authority. Method, it's it's right? just somebody there are different versions because I believe in the validity of it. Yeah, but again, there is different versions of the scientific method, and you should really look into according that. to you. No, according, according to, to science. Who? Who? According to all current scientists. You're so you're appealing to would you say Thomas Young? That's who you're appealing to. That authority. No, well, he's one of them. But I'm also appealing to all current scientists because all 
current scientists know that there is more than one version of the scientific method. So I'd suggest in the meantime, no, no, just looking no, that no, up. No, 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 they don't know that. Yeah, no, they don't they do. know that. You're they do. That they do. They do. Because you want it to be true. I'll ask them right now. They're in my chat. Excuse me, scientists in my chat. All, all current it, scientists are in your chat? Okay. All yeah. current scientists are in his chat. Every Who single knew? one of them. We Who have knew? a meeting. Uh, but like all the current scientists okay, that okay. are in my you know, chat. I, I did Hold on. Right? Let me speak I, one sec. Let me finish what I'm safe. saying, Ross. Let me finish what I'm saying, Ross. Let me finish what I'm saying, Ross. All current scientists that are in my chat, please answer yes or no. Is there more than one version of the scientific method? That's all I want to know. And this is just directly to the scientists in my chat. Oh, so either, them, either the scientists three, are right or people. Ross is right. So it's one of the two. And I know that I'm going to go with the scientists. Oh, right. So it's Rubik's. Yes. Clive Wells. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, don't throw out the nose. Don't throw out the nose. Oh, don't, don't like James, yes, great key, the, yes. The great, uh, oh, he works at I'm CERN. I'm not throwing it out. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it there. I'm just not acknowledging Dundee. it. Uh, That's uh, the same uh, thing as throwing right. it out. Yep. You see how he, Craig is either not yep. yes, enough yes. to know that he owes me 20 Yeah, all, all the scientists in my chat, better. all of the scientists in my chat say that um, there is more than one version of the scientific method. Well, shout out to them, but I don't, like, even if they're right, they're not right for that reason. That would be fallacious. You have to come up with a what? better reason, all right? That's why you got killed on Mindshock. They're right. Mindshock, dude, Mindshock is so thick that he forgot to put audio in for the first two fallacies that he dinged me for. And he's also he did, so he thick did. that he... He did, he did. Let me ask you a question, he's, though. He's also so thick that think, he literally would ding me for you, saying you the word the, the ah, in. Right? Mindshock is not is, smart. Do you think mass and energy are the same thing? No, they're inter they're interchangeable. Mass can become energy. Energy can become mass. Oh, so every so so everything basically can break down energy, then, right? Everything. So well, e everything is energy. Everything is electricity or energy is right? No, electric energy isn't electricity. That's not the same thing. Well, so what is energy then? Energy is the ability to do work. What do you mean the abil What What do you mean the ability to do work? What does that mean? The ability. It, what is the ability? How do you, um, how do you quantify that? So, like, it's the amount of energy that it can impart into a system. You can't use the word energy in the definition, sir. Right. It, it's the amount of inertia that it can impart into a system. It's the amount of transfer inertia. that it can impart into a different system. It, you know, energy no, is so, so, hold on, hold on. Uh, energy is energy literally described as the ability inertia? to do work. Okay, so, you know, you've been up for a while. I'm, I'm going to start you out. But this is where we're going to start off next time. And, and and I do I do want to like I want to at least like because I do you, like, you, do know, you even I know, know what energy like, for the past few days, huh? So, sorry, I was just the, the energy thing. It, I don't understand why you guys get so confused with it. And energy is you know. Well, no, no, we're not confused, buddy. You're confused, big time. Well, no, because you don't. When I say the ability to do work, you don't know what I mean, and so you are confused because that's what literally what mean, right. I mean, do you I know what energy is measured? Right. Okay. Right. Let, let's test your knowledge of. Further and let's you could not. Let's test your knowledge of, of energy. What is energy measured in? We're going to pick up on this next time. Do you know? Do you know what energy is measured in? What, you don't answer my questions. What does this look do. like? What do you think this is, dog? I've answered all I your asked questions. I you 100 questions in a row. You ignore them, and then you ask me I answered question. every single one of your questions. Don't answer it. That means you got me? Hell the fuck no. You were not slick. You didn't answer my first question. Yeah, I did. How is energy inertia? How about that? How is energy inertia? Energy can Go impart back inertia. Back That's what I said. I said energy can impart inertia. So I don't want to do you like this. But if I said energy can impart inertia. I said energy can impart inertia. Energy is literally the ability to do work measured in joules and is so interchangeable is with mass. Well, how do you quantify that? What do you mean the with ability joules. to do work? What is that? Because you're saying that mass can turn into energy, something physical. So the ability yeah. to do work is not a physical, that's a concept. How no, is that? Not. Explain that to me. What is the ability? It, it's the amount of, um, it's the amount of energy of that you can impart into a system. Energy is the amount of work. Can't use the word the definition. Right. Go right, okay, right. Okay, listen, 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 then. listen, then. Listen, listen, energy right? is the amount of work out, that can right? be, listen, you out. listen, energy is the amount of work that can be imparted into another system. Measured in joules. The amount uh, electrical of energy um, is measured in ki you know, kilowatt hours. Um, calories are a measure of energy. I know but, that's cool. but right, that's cool. so let, let's right. Let, let me let me explain. What right. is it? What is it physically? The is ability it? to do work. 
You're just saying the same thing yeah, that's a in, concept. Uh, stored in electromagnetic ways. The ability to do these aren't none of these words are so you don't objects. understand you don't right. understand you need, what, you need to what energy is linguistics or use some critical thinking so you don't know what energy is then that's the problem sense. so you don't know what energy is is the problem i know what it is D define it then energy is basically electricity same difference no it's not energy is not electricity yes it is no it's yes, not it is. energy is not electricity yeah, right so right, right. Well, you, you, you let, don't let, know let, what right. it is so how do you know that you I, I know exactly shit. what it is. Right, so you, your, your answer is the ability to do work. That because that's what energy sense. is. Where do we get energy from? Hold on. Where do we get energy from? Electricity. Yeah, we do. We also get energy from some natural No, resources. electricity is but a, for a of electricity is a form of energy transfer. Also break down to electricity. So we can use electricity to get energy. 100%. Uh, uh, electricity is just um, a transfer of energy. That's all. Right. So um, just give me a sec. That's your to opinion. Explain. That's your opinion. No, you don't know no, what no. energy is. So you can't tell me it's a transfer of energy. You don't I do know, know what, what it is. is. Right. Let, let me. Right. Give me a second to explain something to you. Okay. Right. So imagine these are two hydrogen atoms. Okay. Right. Imagination. So, yeah. All yeah. right. SpongeBob. I'll use right. my imagination so, to imagine what you're telling me. Just imagine these are two hydrogen atoms. Okay. And I want to squish them together really, really hard, right? And I do that, and they fuse together and make one helium atom, right? That's what happens. That's what nuclear fusion is, okay? But the problem really? is that one helium atom doesn't equal two hydrogen atoms. There's stuff left over. So what's left over from the mass is exerted in the form of energy, electromagnetic waves, radiation. You know, that is energy being transferred. Waves. Radiation, two modalities of basically electricity. No, they're not electricity. Radiation electro, is not electricity. Me, electro, you, you're, you, you either don't understand what words mean or you're lying. Electro Electromagnetic energy is not electricity. Is semantics. Radiation, should I look up the definition of radiation right now and see if the word electric is in the definition? Do you want to yeah. bet on that too? It, electromagnetic, not electric, electricity. <laughs> Uh, radiation is not electricity. Neutrons aren't it's electricity. It's electric in nature. It's, it's electric in nature. No, it's not. Radiation is electric in nature, isn't it? No. It's okay. a wave. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Because I might be wrong on this. I, I want to learn. Radiation is transferred via electromagnetism, not electric. Look at the actual definition of radiation right now. I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to read it right to you. Radiation is the energy that comes from a source that travels through space at the speed of light. This energy has an electric. This energy has an electric field. You need to use Google at Electric least. field. Yeah, it's not Google electricity. It's not electricity. It has an electric you field. Google before you get it's not electricity. I said, Re does it have the word electric in the definition? It does. So you cannot differ. But it's not electricity. electricity. You're not fooling us like that. It's not electricity. Radiation is you don't not know what electricity. electricity is to say that it's not that. Right. You don't know what electricity is? I do know what electricity is. I know exactly you what electricity is. You do? Yeah. Do you want me to explain to you exactly what, what electricity what is, is? is? Electricity is a wave that Very flows simple. through wires. Very so everybody can get it. Go ahead. Right. Electricity simple. is... Go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting me. Electricity is a wave that exists within electrons. That's it. That's what electricity is. Yeah, no, no, no. Ele so, so electricity is a wave electron. of it's electrons. A, a, wave, right? a wave of electrons. Of electrons, right? Yes. So have we ever directly observed an electron? Yes. Oh, God. How? How do we observe the electron? Ionization. It's the movement of electrons. How do we directly observe it? Directly observe it? By watching the electrons go from one thing to the other and reacting and changing the material. Are, Are you, you denying sure the existence that? of electrons? Yeah. Wait, let me be clear here. Are you denying the existence of electrons? The person that came up or that is credited with the foundation of the the uh, the observation of the electron says that he never observed it. Actually, you're not aware of that. Are, are you denying the existence? Of this? Yes or no? Are you, are you denying events? the existence of electrons? It? Yes or no? Are you denying the existence of electrons? It. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not Are you denying the, meaning, the existence of electrons? Is there proof of the existence of the electron? Is there proof of it? Are you denying the existence of electrons? Yes or no? There, there is no. How about this? There is no proof of the existence of the electron. How about that? 
You realize as a nuclear engineer, that might be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I don't have to prove a negative. I'm denying it. Prove it right now. Go. Are you are you are you gonna bring the evidence next time? Cause I like like we might debate in like a week or something. Yeah. I want to give it some time. You feel me? So I can decompress from everything I've been doing this hey, week. Hey, hey! Tell you what. I'll give you look, all that look, time. Look up I'm what a scared. cloud chamber is. I'll give you all the time you need. All the time you need. Go research and see if we have directly observed the electron and bring it to the next hey, debate. Um, do me a favor. Um, go and Google what a cloud chamber is. All right. Thank you, Ross. Get that get that guy to contact me. All right, and then we will arrange another yep, debate. I will. Where I will embarrass you again. Speak to you later. Bye. Hello. Oh my fucking god, that guy is dumb. Dunning Kruger Incorporated exists within him. Oh. I didn't realize he just denies electrons. Guys, uh, this has been a very fun three debates. I'm sorry for giving you Ross three times in a row. That might be my evil side coming through. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you for the massive, 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 massive levels of support you guys have given me as always. Um, Matthew Hackham says, I lost. Sorry, man. Um, not true. <laughs> he owes me 20k. Anyone that thinks I lost that debate is uh, is insane. Um, <laughs> type one in the chat if he owes me 20,000. Uh, Research Cuber became a new member. Welcome to Scrappers. Thank you very much. It's a Rubix. Five dollars says my cousin that worked for no such agency is sending you hush money on top of your obligatory Nasha hush money. You know what to do. Yes, be silent about it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you owe me 20k, dude. Um, IC Spin 499 says, I'd love to see an analysis of a piece of solid, disputed a piece of evidence. You pick Ross and let's roll up our sleeves. Deal, Craig. <laughs> I, don't, I, I wouldn't pick Ross for anything. Um, Urgy T for 199 says, I'm an aerospace engineer. Is my job a lie? Clearly, you're in on it. Um, IC Spin 199s, I was told there would be no math. Draco Fire has been a member for 42 fucking months. Dude, love you. Except fuck you. This, this, I'm blaming all this on you. <laughs> all those instruments and no brain to use them. Does this prove that music comes from the bones and muscles? What I find funny is that he told me he currently plays no instruments and then went on to say how he plays piano. Yeah. It's a Rubik's $2 says, sounds like Ross wants FTFE, I guess. Yeah, he definitely wanted FTFE. Danny Turner, member for five months, says, if Flurf saw the globe from space, it's still CGI. Yeah, that's, that's how it works, I'm afraid. Jay Bird Max, who's been a member for 12 months, says, ADHD at his best. Ross, shut the fuck up and listen. Your singular brain cell might actually learn something. I don't know if that's possible, but he could try. String News 1 for $2 says, Ross is the new Meg. Shut up, Ross. Shut up, Ross. <laughs> who wants a shut up, Ross emoji? Yeah, I need... Uh, I need to add some more things there. So yeah, um, icy spin 199. Ross, please just try this and just 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 try it just once. Jo Jonathan H five dollars. I don't like those facts because it destroys my argument. Whoa, Ross in his head probably. <laughs> no, again, I went into Ross's head because I live in the head of all flat earthers where where it's dark, damp, and smells slightly of weed. Jonathan H. Uh, no, just read that one. Stringer news one two dollars. Bathe in the warm glow of Ross's gaslight. <laughs> Jonathan H, two dollars. Name one real physicist that agrees with you, Ross. None of them. Um, it's a Rubik's for two dollars. Sa says I'd like to buy an argument. If <laughs> is this the right room? Yeah, this is where you come for arguments. Caucasian sensation became a new member. Welcome back to Scrappers, my friend. Um, Alenjo Vallejo for fifty Mexican dollars. I think that is. Thank you very much. Craig, I seriously want to debate Ross about Flat Earth. Is there any way to set it up on your channel? No hard feelings if you don't want to. Contact me on Discord. We'll see what I can do. But Professor Philip Bell has next dibs. Um, it's a Rubik's for $5. Let it be known. 41 minutes into the stream, Ross interrupted 64 times. Ross was the first to interrupt. He wanted FTFE. 
David Lee, 499. He, Ross, who was the loudest, fastest yelling temper tantrum, is full of shit. Myself, the other, for 10 Canadian dollars, says, Triggered, ranting, rowdy Ross, calm the flurf down. Why so mad? Aggression doesn't make you right. You're just eating, but loudly. Um, PhD Tony for $5 Australian, only real man in the room. We use spherical geometry to calculate distances and headings in navigation for every engineering project, every navigation exercise, and every map. Yeah, but have you considered nut uh? Stringer News One, $2. We've been asking for proof of the dome for years. Yeah, I know, um, but it's an antecedent, the pressure, so fuck you, I guess. Stringer News One, $2. Go sit in the corner, Ross. No, he doesn't, the corner doesn't deserve Ross. Weeboo Metalhead, $10, thank you very much. This will be another debate where the stream wraps up, everyone leaves and the video ends, but the screaming doesn't stop. <laughs> Pip, member for 34 months, thank you very much, my friend. Whoa, this guy has been up one side and down the other side of Witsit Shaft and got lost in the bundle bungle of BS. <laughs> uh, Mr. E-Man, um, $10. Ross did not get the opportunity to explain the Chiblanks and Tunguska events yesterday. Could Ross please give an explanation of these events, given his assertion that there's a firmament dome? I'll ask him next debate. Connor Silver for $2. I bet one shipment of 5,000 self sealing stem bolts. Uh, he's got to give me my five, uh, my 10,000 um, gold press latinum first. Connor Silver for $2 says, Glory to you, Craig, and to your house. I'm cling on a heart. Patak. Icy Spin, 199. Good to know your trust in Witsit isn't worth 10k. Uh, oh my god. So many super chats. You guys are incredible. Um, Mr. E Man for $10 Australian. Can Ross do a Google search and observational evidence for gravitational time dilation and display the result live? No, he can't. Because that would disprove him. Pull it up. I'm not doing that. Myself, the other, and this is your fifth super chat, dude, so high five for you. Um, says, for five Canadian dollars, ranting Ross got very squirmy there. Pin him down, put it up. Um, KYPDR for two dollars says, he sounds scared. He does a little bit, doesn't he? Little baby Ross. Oh. Near Cole, ten dollars. Someone is projecting and it's, it's, it's not Craig. <laughs> Icy Spin, 199. Ross hears they stay for the, your execution is denied. I, yeah, they threw out the data. No, they didn't. They thought one was more better than the other and then redid the experiment to check. That's not throwing out the data. David D199 says, research for days. Who has the physics degree? I know, right? <laughs> not like I spent two years. Uh, well, maybe two years and four months because the Navy were helping me get through it quicker. But, you know, not like I spent a whole bunch of time becoming someone with a physics degree or anything, you know, I didn't just do all that. <laughs> uh, Icy Spin 199 says, hit the like globe heads. If you don't hit the like, Daniel Pratt will come to your house. In fact, if that is not a 200 likes before the end of this stream, Daniel Pratt is coming to your house. So get hitting that like button right now. I don't see it going up. I'm not, I'm not finished. I'm not going on until you, smack, you, you hit the like button. Come on. I'm not carrying on. There we go. <laughs> uh, if the bet if the bet is real, Ross wins top left by default. <laughs> I see spin one ninety nine. I I'll stay. I too like to live dangerously. I apologise what I've done to your brains, guys. It's a Rubik's for two dollars. If they threw away data, why do we know about it? Yeah, they didn't throw it away because it's still fucking there. Eon Dust has been a member for thirty months. Why do research and be knowledgeable on the topic when you can just assume you already know it? Because he's a flurf. All right, nine, right, we've gone up to 191, that's good. I want to see that at 200, or Daniel Pratt's coming to your house. Icy Spin, 199, my doctor said don't smoke, so I'm up to a carton a day. No, that's not how you do that. Monkey Cat, Pat Pat, for $5. Next time you talk to Ross, you should ask him what he thinks about the atomic bomb. I have some questions on some things I heard him say last night. Yeah. N nuclear deniers. Oofed. War boss. My favourite Canadian orc. Five dollars. I just got here. And me editors. Shut up that flurf damn. Come on orc. You're stronger than that. 
Uh, Draco Fire, two dollars. Caveman Brain Lift Big Rock. Put rock down. Happy. <laughs> Not happy right now. I'm fucking pain. Matt Urquhart for one ninety nine. I'm pretty sure all of us lost brain cells. Yes, sorry not sorry. Um, Box for five dollars Australian. Ross the Toss has admitted his own channel. He's not a flat earther. He's just after fifteen minutes of fame. I'm done with this brain dead foghorn. Connor Silver for two dollars. We have a Ross emoji. It's called salty. <laughs> Fuck YouTube, five dollars. All of my electrical devices just shut down now that electrons don't exist and can't flow through them. Oh fuck, sorry about that. Rage bot member for fifty fucking months. Um, what the frick was that towel for? You don't want to know. <laughs> Connor Silver for two dollars. It's quapa. You patak. Quapa. Um, it's a Rubix for two dollars. Says final count: three hundred and thirty-seven interruptions from Ross. Sorry you had to count that, but thank you. Uh, your power out, five dollars, throwing out the data. Who's next? C3PO, Bender, Optimus Prime. Yeah, don't throw out Lieutenant Data Lieutenant Commander Data. Don't do that. Fucking love Star Trek. Guys, I'm exhausted because I've literally not slept since like yesterday. Um and I've talked to Ross three times since then. Global Mum, $2 says, Flat Earths aren't cultured Star Trek role rules. Uh, I love screwing around with Flat Earthers. Um, thank you guys for watching. You know, just because I love you, or, or maybe it's because I hate you, you get to hear a song with me rapping in it. We pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. Should be wishing for a brain right now. Brain right now. Still three likes right to go. Now. Good morning. These words come with a storm warning. Better batten down a hatches, grab some matches and brace yourself for a long day of misery. YouTube has given me the power to reach up into the sky and show you all that we live on the ball. I bring you science that's comprehensible. Your view is indefensible. You're reprehensible. When I was young, I never thought I would be here to see this. A pile of random monsters dressed up as bulls. Your ignorance will be the death of us all. Like running head first, full speed into a wall. You could always read a book, buy a telescope, set it up and take a photo of the moon or just be a buffoon. I send you in a balloon onto the stratosphere, page three. You're a few fries short of a happy meal. You're dumber than a box of hair. The wheel's spinning but the hamster's dead and you're as smart as bait. You forgot to pay your brain bill. You're missing a few buttons on the remote control. 24 cents short of a quarter. You're surfing in Nebraska You're as bright as Alaska in December And you fell out of your family tree You don't have all the cornflakes in one box You got an IQ of two and it takes three to grunt <coughs> The elevator doesn't go all the way up And there's a vacancy on the top floor Your antenna doesn't pick up all the channels You're several nuts short of a free You're Mr. Cake. Sensible, calm down, don't go too hard You don't need the artillery and flubs in your backyard You're a man of science Poison grace, mage who did everything to wipe the grins off the face. So Nathan, Nathan, get away from those kids. The world is not flat and it doesn't have a lip. Recognize the differences between the textbook and the Bible and control yourself. Lay off your slander and your lie. You're a bunch of knobs poisoning the well of the youth. Spreading lies that you like to claim as knowledge and truth. Stop spreading fresh bullshit like the butter on your bread. Maybe your musical assault knocks some sense into your head. I hope one day you'll hear these lyrics and smile. And you realize you used to be a 40 year old child. Now it's time to wake up, open your eyes and see. And acknowledge the existence of. You're a few clowns short of a circus Your phone is off the hook Your sewing machine is out of thread You're on foam and no beer You don't have all your dots on one leash Your intellect rivaled only by garden tools There's no grain in your silo And your skylight leaks a little Your belt doesn't go through all the loops You couldn't pour water out of the boot Without instructions on the hill Your slinky's kinked And you're proof that evolution Can work in reverse A few feathers short of a whole duck One fruit short of a whole bowl in the night sky I like 
Thank you guys for watching today um, and yesterday. I apologise for giving you Ross three days in a row. Um, I, I, I guess I hate you or, or something. <laughs> Warboss Fighting Dunna says now for a hard question: Could Klingons stand the orcs? <laughs> Would be one hell of a fight. Um, Klingons versus orcs would result in the death of just everyone, I think. Everywhere, basically. Um, there would be nothing left, um, apart from a pile of bat, bat lifts and mushrooms. Oh shit, that means the orcs would come back. I guess the orcs would win. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for the incredible amount of support. Uh, I, I love you all. Not you, Gary. Um, <laughs> remember that, you know, stupidity... Um, I'm going to stall while I try and find the right input. Stupidity is not a right. Fight the fly earth. Fight the fly. 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 Fight the fight. Fight the fly. 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 F